No, Donna's no. gonna come late. She has a conflicting school meeting, so she will be you want me to get the tape for her? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have another backup. Start the meeting with the Zoom recording for an hour. We could wait. Yeah, we can start. I do. I'm just gonna finish what I'm doing and then I'll get going. Okay. So to kick us off, are we recording? We yeah. are. Uh, to kick us off, are there any additions or adjustments to the agenda? I have one. Um, Is that going to be your what is that going to be related to a conversation with yep i'll tell you what it is in about two seconds <laughs> uh, well, I have... if you weren't going to say that i was gonna i gotcha. I, gotcha. Uh, I have one which is we will have uh executive session at the end of the meeting to, to discuss uh candidate uh interview follow-up Are there any other additions or modifications? Okay, there are none. Let's go ahead and jump into invoice review. Um, first up is American Red Cross. The appropriation of $500 is paid. Uh, for Black Diamond Barbecue, the holiday staff party, $695. Brasso Fuels. Johnson Town Library, $413.53. Historical Society for Holcomb House, $98.22. $398 the Mill House, um, $233.85 paid by the village and $233.84 paid for the town for a total of $467.96 paid to Brussels Fields. Let me pose a question at this point. Sure. Will that <clears throat> do we expect that will be the last Brazo bill? Brian, has he been made aware of that? Well, I guess technically we haven't we haven't signed on, on. So okay. I would expect probably at least one more if we'll have to give him notice <clears throat> that we're not refilling with him anymore. Okay. okay. Uh, so next up is Capstone Community Action Appropriation of $470. Central Vermont Adult Basic Learning, I think is what it is, a tax appropriation of $940. Central Vermont Council for Aging, I believe, a tax appropriation of $2,247. Colina, uh, Colina Howard Nichols Center, appropriation of $1,320. Country Home Center, Lumber. Uh, I'm just going to read through it. All of you can do a photo. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Country Home Center, Lumber, Supplies, Screws, Aspatine, uh, more supplies for building and grounds. Paint for building and grounds and a credit for building and grounds totaling uh, $531.96. Fisher Auto Parts, uh, exhaust plant supplies for parts and supplies, I have seen this under highway, and then ties for beautification. Let me read these out actually. Winter parts and supplies, 1770. Parts and supplies for highway is $733.50. Four, and ties for beautification is forty nine forty four for a total of eight hundred sixty eight eight hundred dollars sixty eight inches. Front porch forum tax appropriation two hundred dollars. Donna Griffiths um, racial, racial justice uh, minutes one hundred nineteen sixty eight. Select board minutes two thousand seven hundred seventy dollars and two cents. BCA minutes twenty seven fifty for a total of two thousand nine hundred seventeen dollars and twenty cents. Hillside trash for a uh, dumpster site and repair, $65. <laughs> Identification, dog tag, animal control cost of 
$240.39. Johnson Hardware and Rental, um, Skate Park, $8.34. Skate Park, $11.49. Skate Park, $7.98. Seven dollars ninety eight cents. That is um, blue for the blue board. Eleven dollars eighty eight cents. Winter parts and supplies. A credit of fifty dollars ninety nine cents. Battery router tool one hundred ninety nine dollars. Lamont County Court Diversion and Appropriation one thousand one hundred seventy five dollars. Lamont County Sheriff's Department quarterly. Um, that chair. Dude from the village. You're very disruptive tonight, Mark. I the village. $202.50. I saw that. Building routes and maintenance, $22.50. Building maintenance, $45 for a total of $250. Lamoille Day Health Services Appropriation of $611. Lamoille Economic Development Tax Appropriation of $3,000. Lamoille Home and Health and Hospice Tax Appropriation of $10,338. Lamoille Housing Partners Appropriation of $752. Lamoille North Modified Union uh, Education Tax, $743,474.15. Mm -hmm. Mark Lahoulier, <laughs> Office Holiday Tree, uh, $35. Meals on Wheels of Lamoille County, tax appropriation of $3,000. $760, New England Municipal Resident Movie, Res, tax, resource. resource, okay, tax forms, $115.22 with the same amount to be from the village. North Central Vermont Recovery Center appropriation of $2,000, uh, go ahead. Because the tax appropriations were all approved by the voters, could we? As long as they were equal to what was approved, can we? Oh, I don't know. If they're equal, but I, sure, I can try. Rosemary, for any not equal. Has any gone up? No. Like, so we what voted was approved by the voters for tax appropriations? That's all you paid. Yeah. Okay, all perfect. Everything has yeah. been paid based on. So we can. Staples business that. credit, office supplies, $103.34 and $206.68 due from the village. Uh, Stiscoe Page and Fletcher, General Matter Legal Expenses, $600. Still Reporter, $111.90. U.S. Postal Sur Service Post Office Box, $108. Vermont Green Printing Recreation, $1,092. What was that? That's for Fletcher and we have fundraising events for the recreation fund. Okay, I think we need that falls into the we need to be notified category. Doesn't it? Over oh, dollars. Over a thousand. If you should have been should have been under your planned purchases. I apologize for the oversight. VLCT uh, animal control training twenty eight dollars. Is the rec committee aware that we should have brought that to select board? I. Uh, We've been over it, but I, I think that uh, the new right coordinator went over a lot of policies in a pretty short amount of time. So okay. I think that it bears repeating, but it, yeah, I think it was just an oversight. Okay. Um, next up, review and approval minutes from the past meeting, November 21st. Uh, motion to approve meeting minutes from November 21st as presented. We have a second. Okay. Any discussion? I'll recuse myself. Okay. It was a riveting meeting. All those in favor? Riveting. Aye. Aye. All right. All those opposed? Uh, all those recused? I'm working. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. I was abstaining here. Okay. Uh, sorry, I couldn't think of the word for a second there. Select vote issues and concerns. Are there any? I just have a question, a protocol question. You know, all the boards I serve on, <clears throat> I never deal with employees. 
And I assume that's the same with this board that we did. You know, if I see the road improve, the only person I feel comfortable talking to is Brian, you know, um, because I figure that the, everybody else is professional and I, I've just never, that's always been the protocol of every board I've been on. So I don't, if I see the road crew, I say hi, hello. If I see people in the office, I'm friendly. Well, maybe not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not like that here. But, you know, I just don't know why. Yeah. I, I feel like I would never say to the road crew, oh, you know, the road is a little bumpy or this or that. I think that's appropriate it's not, not appropriate to. appropriate stuff is that we just kind of deal with employees through you. So we technically- not even deal with employees, but I mean not direct or anything like that. I'd like to respond actually. Yeah. Okay. Technically, um, the only employee that we have reporting through Brian is the recreation coordinator. Oh. Right there, yep. Uh, and otherwise, okay. otherwise folks report either to Jason or direct to the board. Um, and then of course, Rosemary has her own staff as well. Okay. Um, so technically that's the way it goes, but it is the board as a vote, as opposed to individual board members. So okay. I think that's a fair yeah. statement to stay. No, I just, you know, it's just so different at different places. And I just want to make sure. Yeah, we, we do all the hiring and firing at this level. We're right. a lot of boards have some executive director that does all of that type of work. Right. So basically people really work for us. We hire and yeah. fire. But if the I don't, voters I don't feel called, I would never talk to anybody without it being feeling like it's the will of the board or say to Brian or something. If the voters approve a uh, manager form of government, then right. that's exactly the way it would be. We would not be doing the hiring and firing. The manager does it all. All right. I've never been on a board that hired and fired. Matter of fact, I've never been on a board that had a personnel committee that actually interviewed anybody except the CEO. So, yeah. That was just... Yep. Does that help clarify? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to make any mistakes that are prone to happen in this village. It is a little bit odd when it comes to things like reviews and that things of that nature, but yeah. Well, sort of like when we're hiring, I really feel it's nice to visit with people, but I really feel like I have to defer to Jason or mm -hmm. it, It's a little bit of an odd beast because we are elected. Yeah. So any member of the public can certainly come up to us with any complaint that they might have. My general take on that would be, you know, I'll raise it with the board or I'll discuss it with the board chair or I'll discuss it with Brian um, and you'll hear back from somebody. Um, yeah, because um, I would think that, yeah, that people complain to me, which they haven't so far. I'm doing a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, um, I I would Real I would prob probably get out the bat there, but that would be my nice sense. Yeah, and you know, I can say from personal experience that I've had complaints that I've talked to Beth about, and Beth has been aware of them. Um, and in the process of dealing with them with Brian, yeah. um, and you know, my only comment was, you know, please have someone reach out to this person. Right. Let them know. Yeah. Um, okay. Because I think I think we owe it to our voters to be responsive to their issues and concerns. And most of the boards I've been on are elected boards. So sometimes stuff comes yeah. up to the board, but most of the time it does. Yeah. Municipal governments are a, bit of a weird beast. Weird duck. It really is. The more I'm here, the weirder it is. It's a true <laughs> statement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> it's a long, strange trip around. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other issues or concerns? No. All right. Um, treasurer's report. Nothing. What? Nothing. How was the cruise? Everything is good. The cruise was good. You didn't follow the board next swim for sixteen hours. No, I didn't get hit by a roadway either. 
<laughs> did did someone get hit by a window? Yeah, yeah. They killed the person. Yeah. Wow. In the last episode, those folks are I'm not trying to cut you off. Oh, yeah. A lot on the agenda tonight. I'm glad the rules went well. Good. So, Rose, we have cash, cash on hand report. Um, okay. And so the, the figures on the bottom, um, the reserve balances yep. were as of the September. No problems are as of June 30th. June 30th. Okay. Well, we'll get into that when we're into the budget. We'll yeah. Budget. So do we get uh, um, the cash on hand at the end of the year? Do we get cash on hand updated throughout the year? Not typically, but the 10. Okay. I don't know how to think about it. Okay. Because it's the prior year. I, well, I understand, but like, if there was ever a concern that we're spending more than we're taking in ahead of a first installment or even a second installment for that matter, there was some big expenditure, like for example, the school tax, like how do we just make sure that, I was, I know you know that the cash is good, but how do we as the board know that the cash is good? That's why we have a treasury report every month. Rosemary would let us know, I'm sure. And she'd come to us with a, Request to have a bank note to borrow money from the revenue shortfall. I understand. Right. I get all of that. This is not about Rosemary. It's not about Rosemary. It's about, you know, holding our treasurer, whoever that is, accountable. And how do we have that visibility of what's happening on the cash side of things? Yeah. And we have received all of our money. Oh. Okay. And that's not reflected in here. So, <laughs> okay. Do you would it, it would be my opinion checking with you when we do the budget as in terms of letting the voters know of what our cash on hand position is. Mm -hmm. My take would be that we should show that our money. We can show it as restricted, um, but it, it should be in there. So would that be your as long as it's as long as it's shown somewhere, I don't care whether it's a separate report. I, I the value of the separate report, I think, is that it makes it a little clearer that it's restricted, operation and budget. not really not really available to the voters to offset the budget or buy an upgrade or. Yep. Yep, I agree. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Okay, sounds good. If you don't have anything else, let's move on. Uh, next up is plan purchases. All right. So I sent you an update, and uh, you have a piece of paper that also has the updated figures on it. So we have two pieces. Uh, one is the articulated blade system. Uh, last, at our last meeting when Jason was here, he described this, and he didn't have a final quote for it yet. That's come in. And uh, that's coming at $2,720.58. Uh, we also have a replacement motor and uh, receiver for the uh, garage door on the bay that faces opposite. Uh, if you went straight through from Railroad Street, it's the one that faces the, the back. Uh, occasionally, that motor trips uh, what I assume to be a surge protector or something. If it trips something, then the motor will stop, and they have to uh, hit a button to reset it, get out of the car, hit a button to reset it, get back in. And it's time-consuming and annoying. And uh, I know it's the motor, not the electric? Yes. They've had the, the service folks from uh, Simpsons out. And this is their recommended replacement. Okay. Ryan, the quote that you have for the um, the blade system, when it says Joma system replacement, is that if the if the blades need to re be replaced? Or yes, is that it? is. And thank you for bringing that up, Duncan. The uh, 
The <laughs> system itself is the first one, the $2,720, which is what's reflected in our plan purchases. Uh, Jason, at the same time, asked, how much is it going to cost when we have to buy new bits for it? Um, and they provided that on one sheet, but we're not currently we're not pre-purchasing replacement parts. And I know Eric asked at the last meeting, um, and Jason responded that this system would not degrade the pavement. He's Jason's pretty pretty confident that this is not going to destroy pavement. That's been the experience of the other folks that have tried a similar system in other towns. You know, that this is something that comes pretty highly recommended from area um, road foreman. Uh, that they say they've been able to handle wheel ruts and things like that, that you get in the snow pack much better with a, an articulated system like this because it can move enough to kind of help even out the contours. Okay. To approve. I was also supposed to say salt. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it, it should do a better job of scraping so that there's less ice, so we need less salt and uh, safer roads. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the plan purchases. Any discussion? All those in favor? <clears throat> aye. 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 Have it. Okay. Now into the good stuff. Uh, not that the money isn't the good stuff. <laughs> so we're about to spend our whole meeting on it. Uh, the committee volunteer support record skate park up, a grant application. Yep. So uh, skate park with uh, working with recreation wants to go out for a community foundation, Vermont Community Foundation grant. Uh, that would be used to stand up a, what they're calling a let's roll program, which would work with, uh, w it would work with kids on getting them kind of basic skateboarding skills. Uh, and there's some planning that I'm not entirely clear on around uh, involving parents in the same program. So that not necessarily teaching parents to skate, but that, Parents would get more experience with the skate park, more familiar with the equipment and kind of what the process is like. Okay. And the match was already in their funds, I believe. Um, let's see. It doesn't need any cash match. Um, Yeah, some other costs are, according to Casey's email, some Dean's time is covered in the town budget and some other costs have already, are already in the current and proposed skate park budget. Who would be administering the grant if it's approved? I would imagine, I'm not sure, Dean, if Casey's thinking that you would administer that or if she's planning on it. I do think she's planning on it. Okay. Um, my... My part of what she explored with me is the facilitating of utilizing our, our sports engines or signups and to to uh, have that kind of organization uh, based to that to it so that we could you know drum up uh, signups for the program and try to get people in as soon as they get really involved. Um, she is going to lead the correct process. Okay. So would a motion to approve the grant to be signed by the chair with Casey being authorized to be the grant administrator be an appropriate motion? Sounds appropriate to me. Is that your motion? So my Okay. You have a motion? Do you have a second? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> any discussion? I have a question. Is there any cost for the sports engine setup? Very good question. Um, I'll have to do, uh, I have to create a new registry. Um, but I, I unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if the registry is cost or if it's just rolled into the overall cost. I think it's an annual piece of Just annual. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Have it. Okay. Uh, thanks, Dean. Uh -huh. Recommendation for auditors on the town report dedication. Uh, as you know, the town report dedication is, is determined by the town auditors, uh, but the select board has on occasion provided its own recommendation on who they'd like to see uh, the dedication go to. Mm -hmm. Is there any desire this year to provide such a recommendation to the auditors? Eric? As this is a little bit sensitive and a uh, non-actionable item of the select board, I would suggest that anybody has any ideas, which key them to Beth and she can talk to the auditors uh, because it usually is uh, sprung on the recipient as a surprise. And if we were to nominate somebody here tonight and they weren't chosen by the auditors, it might look a little bit egg on our face or yeah. embarrassment for the uh, applicant. And we could fire the auditor. <laughs> no, 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 we're elected. We can't <laughs> fire <laughs> Well, that would be my suggestion. I'm totally fine with that. Is there a deadline? Or the end of January. Yeah. Before we go to print. Well, before we go to print, minus however long it takes to write the dedication. Yeah, so like two weeks before we have to go to print. So probably beginning of January, we should have an idea of who's going to be the recipient. Okay. Yeah, send them my way. If anyone, public, anyone has recommendations, ready to hear it. Those people in Zoom land. Yep. Okay. Next up is thanks for the suggestion. All right. Um, follow up from piece, recent meetings, the fuel oil. So uh, at the board's request, I went back to Fred's um, with the eliminating the uh, penalties and, uh, excuse me, going entirely to uh, price over the rack, uh, eliminating the penalties and changing the end of contract to uh, June 30th. They were fine with all of that. Uh, when it came to negotiating a lower price point, they say that they don't have any customers on a lower price point than 30 cents over rack. So they were not willing to negotiate on that. Okay. Make a motion we go with uh, operate the chair to sign a contract with Fred's Energy for our fuel needs for the pending year. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? What was the last part of that till the end of the year? Was that pending year, but yeah, till June 30th, I guess. Till June 30th. Yeah. Okay. Project year. Um, what happens on July 1st? We'll have no contract. According to this, we would go back to prior pricing, but we don't really have prior pricing with that. So I don't know what it means. We, I think we should put it on our particular file to either decide that we want to go back out to bid or renegotiate the contract, one or the other. Okay. I, I just have a so procedural. Actually, sorry. Okay, one second. Procedural. Thank you. And we have a motion. Did we have a second? We didn't have a second. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Okay, now we can have a discussion. Go ahead, Mark. Um, so typically, would we sign this contract in July or something? Would sure. It come in here? Sure. Okay. That's okay. why I'm suggesting that we put it on a tickler file to either renegotiate or decide to go out to bed. Yeah. One or the other. Yeah, because this sort of throws a wild card at us in the middle of our budget. To some extent. Great. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? Just a, a, a question. Um, do we differentiate in any way between? I mean, my understanding is number two and off-road diesel. It's the same thing. Basically, the same thing. So presumably the price per gallon should be the same. I would believe so. I'm 
same. My understanding is the same as yours. That I'm not aware of the difference between them. But this is twice that he has split it out. Right? Well, he's got a set. Yeah, he's got one for number two and one for off road. But his original proposal had the same split out between the two fuels. Yeah, except one was fixed and one was on the rack. Yeah. So I guess maybe I need to amend my motion to offer the chair to sign both contracts. It's been like okay. good. All right. Okay. Uh, any other discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Let's have it. <clears throat> Okay, highway budget. All right. Non highway budget, not highway budget. Slow down, but. So uh, we'll get into the budget. Um, we're going to go through non highway, non highway items. So we'll we'll go through the revenue side, identify kind of where we have missing pieces, and. Uh, then go through the expense side and we'll see where we can get to. The suggestion we had last time was going by grouping. So I'm gonna go for each subtotal. And then if there are comments on, or questions about any part in that, we'll go back to it. Uh, I've got a couple rulers here, if anybody would like one. I know it helps me quite a bit. Um, and I, it might not look like much, but I did blow this one, blow this up a little bit. So I, I hope that it's a little easier to read. Uh, Eric, you want uh, sure. uh, uh, sure. Nothing else I can get you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, do we want to discuss anything on the first heading of the tax related items? Uh, the brief comment I, I have on this one is current taxes. That's the amount to be raised by taxes. Uh, that is obviously not a final number yet because we haven't finished with the rest of the budget. Rosemary, you're good with the estimated tax penalty yeah, that's in there. All right, next one, fees, licenses, and fines. Is there anything we want to discuss in this group? What were you going to say, Evan? Don't worry about okay. it. Okay, done. I have one question on that section. Yep. So that would be um, revenue from law enforcement. And it's just more or less a question. Do you think that we really are going to hit the 5,000 for the estimated year end. Is that a reasonable? I think it's a reasonable number. Um, and then should we budget 5,000 for 24? I think that there's a pretty decent chance that we'll hit it by the end of the year because, again, the, we have 3,100 in there so far and it's not halfway through the year. So I think there's a pretty decent chance that we'll get 5,000 before the end of the year. Um, for next year, um, we could lower it to, you know, I think 4,000 or 4,500 or something wouldn't be unwelcome. Uh, well, we hit, the reason I asked the question was we didn't, we didn't hit the actual in 22, but I'm thinking, you don't think, you don't think so? You know how the state sends a big check? Yeah. We've already gotten that. You don't think we'll? No. It's very sporadic. I know it never comes then in. About once a month, we get a few hundred dollars from different tracking tickets. You know? Well, we have any money that's tracking tickets at all. Mm -hmm. So, do you think we might hit 4,000 yeah. by the end of the year? Mm -hmm. And do you, what do, you, do you have any thoughts on what we might? Do you think that we should budget? Are people 
Yes. Okay, four. let's do in four and four on that. It's going the wrong way, Duncan. I know, I know. But I I'd rather the need this side to come up. I know. The other side. Well, we're, we're on the revenue side. Let's wait till we get the expense side. Uh, um, <laughs> we're not getting there tonight. We're we're only six months into our budget year, and we're at 31. But Rosemary, you don't think we'll... Uh, we've gotten our big check on the state. But we still got another six months left to collect money, and we're not going to get another big check. No, no. Once we get it. Agreed. Okay, moving on. Now that we all agree that we don't like it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Brian, you're tracking the changes? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, so the federal state. Yep, uh, state and federal aid. Is there anything we want to discuss in this group? Why is the state grant highway yellow? Uh, that's yellow. I think in email, Duncan had a question about this. Uh, that is made up of two grants that we're pretty confident about. Um, one is already approved and one is not. I think it's safe to estimate that the, we will be approved for the other one, uh, but it is the application window for it is not open yet, and we won't be able to apply for it and know that we have it in time to set the budget. That'll be a money in, money out, right? Yeah. If we don't, if we get less in grant money, we'll spend less mm -hmm. on services. So it'll balance out. On it should, yeah. Yeah. This uh the pilot payment. Yep. Which of the two is this? Is this for buildings or for grounds? For like property. That's building. That's buildings. There's one for um in our land. In our land. The other pilot. Yeah. Much smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you know basically the count. Wait, 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 hold on. Evan, go ahead. What was your question? If we got four hundred and sixty-six this year. Typically, in the past four years, anyways, we've gotten above budgeted. Why don't we bump that proposed to four sixty from four forty? More accurately, in fact, make a suggestion. You make a note of it, and that's a good place to come back to later on when we need to try to find places to either cut costs or increase revenue. That's a good one to bump up. Why wouldn't we do it right now? You could. It's just in the, in the, you won't have any more flexibility. And the legislature can play games with that number. Well, they don't fund it. That doesn't mean they, it doesn't right. mean they won't play games. Uh, that's it's a huge bucket of money. Yeah, it, it's the funding for that is derived primarily, not exclusively, from the local option tax. So, if that does. That that local option tax also goes to other things. So they they in theory could change the percentage that we receive, um, which could reduce the amount we get from them. Yeah, if they're having a particularly bad budget year, they could decide to. They haven't. It's not just our town that benefits from that. They would receive a lot of pushback, but it's something that we're always yeah. in fear of. Mm -hmm. You'll be adding. Yeah, that's the big good one right there. Montpelier, because yeah. they got special arrangements. Yeah. Um, so it's okay. relatively safe. I like your proposal, though, Eric. Put an asterisk beside it, put $20,000 on the other column, and see where we're if, if we're stressed, we'll add it up. Yeah. Oh, we're stressed already. Go ahead. <laughs> Can I go back to that? Um, so with the 40,000 for the state grants, I understand that there's a high likelihood we'll get it. Uh, past practice has always been only to put known approved grant funds in the budget, you know, which you bird in hand, you actually know you got it. Um, do you know what the amount is that we actually have gotten approved? And uh, the flip side of that would be what, where, where's the expense side of that? So if we don't get the grant, 
what would we would we know what to cut? Um, I don't know the number off the top of my head. What what the makeup of those two grants are? Um, Most sales state, and I we haven't set the highway budget yet, so it's not currently reflected on the expense side because it's in the highway budget, which is not being covered tonight. Typically, it'd be in capital projects or... Yeah, it, it'll be on, under the yeah. capital projects line item. So your point, if it's money on money out and we put in only the known grant amount, yeah. we could put in only the known expense right. amount. Uh, I'm personally more comfortable doing it that way than... I mean, if we got more money, we would just spend more. We'd so spend I, more. As far as taxes, it has no impact. Or vice versa, if we didn't get the grant, we're not going to spend the money. So it again doesn't affect the amount to be raised by tax. It doesn't, but if you're showing if you're showing the expense mm -hmm. without having gotten the revenue, you need to know that that much of that budget line item isn't available as opposed to yeah, we need put only an amount of the expense that you know you've got. Then you know you can spend that amount. We shouldn't have one without the other. They're going to net out. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready to keep going? Are, did you have another question about the pilot money, or is that the only one, Evan? So did we was my my suggestion would be that we only put in instead of the forty thousand, we only put in the amount that we know we have a grant for. Are people comfortable with that, or do you want to put in the? Full. Sorry, are you yeah. back on the? We're still at the state grants highway. State grants yeah. highway. Okay, I think that I got you. I don't see a problem with leaving it as it is because it's money in, money out. But if it's going to be a sticking point, we can reduce it. It, it. it is, except for the fact that if you if you have a like expenditure on the expense side, and we don't get the grant. The expense is still going to show that you've spent the money. I mean, that you've got the money budgeted. That you have the money budgeted. And it, and you wouldn't have the revenue for it. So it would. Let's keep it budgeted on both attention. sides because our intention is to spend it and to get it. It's our intent. I think we know we have that intent. So let's keep it both as revenue and as expense. And if for whatever reason it doesn't come through, we know it's net. You remember. Ah, Duncan may have changed my mind. Oh. That was a pretty good argument. Okay. So what are you proposing? What are the costs? What is the split between the two? I he doesn't know. I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, uh we're gonna have to come back to that one. Yeah, we need Next to know. meeting for sure. Um Yeah, it's on the on the highway side, which so we'll revisit that one uh, next time. Is there anything else from this section that we want to discuss? Can we make that 20? If we don't know, let's split it in half. We're talking about not having it. Why don't we just split it in half until we know what it is? Plus, I'm just waiting until we know what it is. Changing a number now, change it later. Because yeah. if it doesn't look right later, we'll be questioning why. That's why. But whatever. I don't well, it's care. not. Let's keep it's moving. not hard. I mean, if if we've got a grant, I have no. It's okay. It'll be a ten minute exercise for Brian to tell us what that number is. Yeah, that's okay. Let's move. Okay. Anything else in that section? Nope. All right. Next section: other revenue. Uh. The one I want to mention offhand is the uh, highway restricted fund. There are some proposed changes to that that will take up when we're doing highway funds, so that will get backfilled at that time. What is the overrun stone income? To the best of my knowledge, uh, Percy's is no longer interested in purchasing them. Little bit that we have, so we probably got to zero that out or find another purchaser. Are they obligated to? No. But it's a condition, so that puts we us in an awkward. Yeah, puts us in an awkward position. So, 
I wonder if we can get released from from Burke. Because that, that's in our actual deep governance. I mean, that, you can zero it out for now and come back to that. I think I think you're right. If if they're if they're not gonna buy it, then we shouldn't show so should we show anything for is that is that two thousand dollars a year and just there because that's what we budgeted? Essentially, yeah. It was yeah. Marked as something that I wasn't really confident in, but I didn't have, I didn't, I wasn't aware that Percy's wasn't just not going to buy it. Oh, uh, could you follow up with Jason on that one? Yeah. But I would definitely red flag that one. I had that one flagged too as a question mark. Okay. Um, so does that mean we're doing both the proposed year end as well as the next year? Well, have we the seen any yeah. We probably won't between now and the end of the year. If what Evan is saying is true. Yeah, I'll circle back with Jason, but for now I'm going to plan on those zeroing out. The Holcomb House rental, we need to at least propose something. Yeah, I made a note on that. Um, you know, the back apartment Right it's now, it was four ninety a month. So at four ninety a month, that I think that comes out to fifty eight eighty. Um, and if if propane, do we know do we know what the village did on their propane? Yeah, uh, I believe that they also signed with friends. They did. I believe so. I'd have to double check. Well, I, well, we're on the income side, anyways. Well, we are, but but it's if if we, I mean, my suggestion is at four ninety a month, if propane has gone up by ten or fifteen percent, we should talk about increasing the rent on the apartment, which would yield an additional six months potentially of income, or if or we could implement the change in the next next year. Um, but I think we should at least talk about how much know, are you proposing? Do we pay the heat in the department? Yes, heat, electricity, water, sewer. Everything is everything not is in the rent. We don't pay for rent, do we? No, I don't believe. No, it. they they do their own. But the, the it, apartment we're paying heat, electric, water, and sewer, and trash. How big a place is it? Not that big. It's a one bedroom. <laughs> The, the studio farm. Okay. And the resident also provides some caretaking services for us. Okay. Which, now that we don't have other tenants, is a little less involved, but. It's a good deal. Yeah. Do you have a number in mind? Well, I, I don't necessarily, but, it, you know, I mean, it, we we should probably bump it up a little. Five, five, ten. Twenty bucks a month. Yeah. I would assume we're going to go through a lot more than two hundred and forty dollars a year more in propane now than last year. But it wouldn't cover it. I guess it would ease the blow. Five twenty-five. Still be the cheapest part apartment. Yeah. Well, but Donnie does do as Brian says. He shovels. You know, he shovels yeah. the. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just down there. What would a studio apartment in your realm be? I'm, I have a studio apartment right now that's seven hundred dollars, all utilities included. All utilities. All utilities included. Now it's a good size. It's got a kitchen, living room, and a little bit of a bedroom. Mm -hmm. So if we're at five fifty, would be a hundred and fifty dollars a month cheaper than competitive. What would anybody apartment? think about? Doing five twenty five for half a year and then increasing to five fifty on July first or something. You know, so it was a phase, a little bit of a phased in. Yeah, I, I guess I'm supportive of that. I, our heating bill is not phased in; we're paying that now. True, sure. um, but we could phase it in if that's what you want to do. So you, 
You're you're talking current year of an raise, like today, you know, or the first of the year. We no, probably got to give them. Some Do we have a lease with Donnie? Do we have a lease? With Donnie? I don't, we don't think we have a lease with Donnie. If it is, it's one we've been renewing. Um, we oh. have not made any changes to Donnie's apartment in quite some time, so. I suspect the lease has just rolled over. Well, you should dig into that lease and find out. I mean, typically you want to give somebody 60 days yeah. before you. So if we did 550 for half of the budget year, so starting in July through December, and then five, sorry, 525 the first half and 550 the second half, the total budget line would be $6,450 for the year. I'm confused. Why? Is Donnie's were the two apartment rents in what was budgeted at seventeen thousand last year? Was it both of them combined? No, it was okay. Yeah, okay. So we're shooting for hopefully eleven thousand less than we budgeted. I guess as long as we know the terms of the if there's one, we could step it. We should definitely check and make sure that we don't have a lease. Oh, answers needed. We can come back to that. Can you make a note on yours? Yep. Brian, you're yep. Yes, you know. Um, and the uh, in lieu of rent payment, that was going up, right? Do you remember what that was, Duncan? Uh, I think you've got that in there as what the proposed was, right? No, no. because they were paying seventeen hundred, but when we removed the renter, they were proposing three thousand thirty one hundred. Does somebody know in the audience? Do you have that worksheet, the Excel spreadsheet. I don't have it on my phone. Mm -hmm. I believe that this is what was in the spreadsheet. The the worksheet for the from the historical the society. society. So that's uh, that was maybe, their proposal. Maybe, yeah. uh, but they were paying seventeen hundred. Yeah, they were already their proposal paid. was to raise that. It was. But they uh, that was if they occupied the space, which they mm -hmm. have not done, right? So we lost all the revenue. But no, for this year. Okay. Oh, uh, and they want us to spend money. Um, I mean, without. So I guess for this any... proposed budget, do we anticipate they'll be in there July first? Any thoughts, Lois? <laughs> the losses were recognized instantly. I was under the impression that the spreadsheet that was presented was going to be because it was all built on savings instantaneously. And part of that number was the increased contribution. Correct? I think the historical society is prepared to pay an increase in the rent, but we need to work out when it is we're going to be occupying to establish how much that will be. Uh, the spreadsheet that was given to us, do you have that? In your I'm looking for it, yeah. The one from the historical society was at 1700, I believe. That was still at 17. Hmm. I'm not sure yeah. which spreadsheet but you're talking about. Uh, it's the one they brought to the board 60% reduction cost um, for electricity, okay. sewer, water, and heat. And I thought they had proposed an inc increase. Cost there was rate. an increase in the. I got it. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. So. Income second floor per month eleven hundred. Income backup apartment for okay. That's, that is yeah. oh. right there. Each has contribution for okay. floor thirty five hundred seven dollars and fifty cents. That's the increased proposed amount. So three five zero seven fifty. Is that completely unreasonable? 
the budget for? I don't think it's unreasonable. I think that's but we'll have to have a new contract next time. Yeah. But by July 30th, there should be a contract right. agreement between the board and the historical society. I would think too, yeah. So for our estimate for the year, keeping it at 1700, and then for the proposed 2024, beginning July 1st, changing it to the 3507.50. And that means that too, that I'm just gonna, we go a whole bunch of updates here while we're talking. I'll put it on our future agendas too, just so we don't lose track of it. So the the FY when we would be putting in thirty five oh seven. Thirty five oh seven, yeah. <clears throat> the proposed was fifty, but fifty cents is kind of annoying. We're just like having I think it's good. Just the thirty five oh seven. I actually thought it was thirty four hundred. Uh it's not that was in the email. It's not in the spread. Thirty four hundred. You thought it's not in the spreadsheet that way. Yeah. Unless I don't. I mean, unless I don't have the most cop most recent spreadsheet, that's possible. I, I couldn't think of those. Can I ask? A sort of a general question that probably is a rosemary question. Yeah. Because it's a number of question. Again. For rosemary, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. There, there are a number, you know, just looking at um, you know, bookkeeping kind of things, there are a number of categories that have three or more years of zero activity in them. Could we just meet those? Yeah, how does that affect your spreadsheet? Doesn't matter. I'll be fine with it. it, it anyone you want to get rid of, I can. He, he might have to. He might have to. I'll, I'll coordinate with your. Yeah, but I can make it work. Yeah. You import that 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 file to Excel. I do, but I match it to account numbers when I do the import. So as long as we don't reuse account numbers, it's not going to mess me up. Yeah, I mean, obviously, no, no category that we might, but there's like potting hall, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we're not, that's that's a grant that's down there. Yeah. yeah. And there's a bunch of those things in there. That... Okay. It might, it might save a half a page on our um, down the <laughs> We're not going to save any trees, but we'll save them. <laughs> Uh, okay. Is there anything else in this section that we want to go over? The racial justice. Yep. They brought in uh, no revenue to date. Uh, they we had budgeted fifteen hundred. You show year end fifteen hundred. Is there something in the work? Didn't they tell us they got a grant? I. Grant was set by but we do. But nothing that you actually have in the hand. Oh, okay. So should that be zeroed out for end of year? Like the estimated end of the year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we could. Sure. And you feel comfortable leaving the 500 if proposed? What do you think, Jeff? If we don't have it, I wouldn't put it in. Well, okay, actually, hold on one second. Sorry. I hear you on the grant, but I am maybe my timing is just off. <laughs> my brain's not working very possible, by the way. But didn't you get donations too in this fiscal year? No? No. Last fiscal Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lots of, lots of stuff happening. I got you. Okay. 
and a lot of our activities in the spring. So like in Stroh, there will be more. So but um, we don't know. We don't have anything. So maybe we shouldn't take the full 1500 away for our estimate for the year and maybe just notch it down a bit. Okay. Sounds like Jeff was saying they're working on stuff for 24. Four, right. If they're not working on anything in 23. No, 23. For oh, 23, 23 in the spring, he said things will pick up. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe we can do this offline actually. Do you mind connecting with Brian on what your committee's estimate is for the end of the year? And then for next year, we have a $500 revenue expectation for fiscal year 24. So starting July 1st and a fall calendar year. Does that seem reasonable for revenue? All right. Any other questions in that section? Okay, the next section is library revenue. Do we have any questions here? It's going the wrong way. Yeah, my question, presumably the trustees have sorted this out, but, but do we think that the FY23 for the Farrington and the USB funds are, you know, that's reflective of what the budget was. What do we think? What do they think about that? The one thing is going to be reflective of actuals. Right. Right. Stacey. That's Farrington that's falling. We have Stacy here. <laughs> so those are all endowments that are investments. So you know, that's all based on the stock market, all those in that kind So, you know, we don't control the stock market, unfortunately. Um, but we go up and down, but like everything else. Um, and that's what's reflected in our right. But almost everything, they're not in the market. Right. Sorry, let's be, uh... Are you seeing your retirement fund lately? <laughs> 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 Pick out the RNG Jones endowment. We budgeted five thousand for the trustees. Budgeted five thousand for the last three years, and they never made that mark. But yeah, for twenty four, that's why it's lower. Yeah. Yeah, but you lowered it by a thousand. The thing is, if it we look like at it's going to come out about twenty six hundred this year if it keeps par. If you look at fiscal year twenty one actuals and fiscal year twenty two actuals. And, and fiscal year 24 proposed, to me, it feels like next the 24 proposal is more in line with the 22 actuals, which I think is a better representation of revenue in. I would rather actually see it go down because I feel like it's more realistic than seeing it inflated like it was in last year's budget. If you look at the year to date, there not even near half of that 4,000. Right. We, we've only turned in one quarter, three months worth of, uh, that only reflects three months worth of, of return on investment. In bulk. Okay. Okay. Because we, we turn the world to get down quarterly. Um, so I believe we've only turned in, see, yeah, three, maybe four months, and that's it. Okay. So the, yeah. So which means that, that means your year to date yeah. is really probably closer to twice that yeah. number we had. Right. Okay. That looks a little better. Um, I do have a question on the grants. It looks like the grants are down pretty significantly. Yeah. From so they were up uh, the year before because uh, so. There are a lot of grants that we get year after year, mm -hmm. not guaranteed, but because Jean does a good job of writing them every year. So, for example, I think it's, I can't remember which one, but so one that would normally we usually get about $3,000 a year. Last year, because of COVID, it was 10000 
So we kind of had this spike after the COVID and grant money that we were getting. Mm -hmm. The same donors, same, you know, organization uh, suddenly gave us a lot more money during COVID to help library get through. And now it's gone back to sort of the normal levels of funding and getting. And and this is netted with your expenses, I assume. Grant <laughs> fund revenue and grant fund expenses. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's looking at the last Are you looking at the budget you emailed us? Oh, actually, I was trying to find it. Yeah, it's, it's further. It's way further down. It's so long. <laughs> we haven't got through revenue yet. Halfway through this, <laughs> Erica. I mean, I mean, you have hydration. One more meeting. Um. Okay. Thank you, Stacy and Jess. Both of you. Thank you. That's helpful. Any other questions about revenue? Okay. So we're not making any changes to the estimated end of year. I wonder if we, I wonder if we should make a little change to the estimated as well. Maybe they should be closer to the proposed. Hold on one second. I just want to do one thing. So if Stacy's saying that they've they've received a quarter of their return on investment, like one quarter's worth, if I just do a straight math. Probably not the right thing to do, but I'm doing it anyway. Just a straight math, seven thousand dollars is thirty-eight percent of eighteen thousand six hundred fifty dollars. And my point in doing that is they only have a quarter's worth of revenue, but they're already above that quarter's worth of revenue. So in other words, it seems like they're above track when you do the straight numbers, meaning their budgeted amount is likely to be, their final amount is likely to be higher than their budgeted amount if you just look at it that way, which is probably not a fair way to look at it, frankly, but for what it's worth. But if you double that 1300 and put that up, you know, at, put 1300 with the 7,000 and double it here. What was your proposed change, Duncan? Uh, well, it seems to me that the library trustees reduce their estimates of the income being generated by those funds. I was just wondering if we should replicate the proposed to the estimated year end. Oh, you mean an estimated year end instead of putting, uh, you know, for the Barrington Trust, put 5,500, put it at 4,500? Yeah, that was, so that that was call, my though. thought. Yeah. I think that's reasonable enough. I wonder if we should ask the library if it's closer to these things to come back with to us with that. With my friend? Yeah. Yeah. If you look at this, there's a copy of it. Oh, maybe there's not any copies left. <laughs> oh, sorry. The, the worksheet that they got, did they, did they fill in the estimated year end? Yes. And those, the numbers that are in here, what they put in? I believe so. I'd have to, I wouldn't mind a chance to double check it, but I believe that it. it's copied over. Okay. Yeah. And the, I can go back to that. The value to us on having those estimates as accurate as possible is that's what we use to determine how much we're going to apply toward reducing taxes. Our, our total bottom end, uh, line for the uh, estimating year end. So we sort of need good numbers there. And we generally tend to be <clears throat> a little conservative on the revenue side and um, a little conservative in the other direction <laughs> on the expense side. <clears throat> I can try. It's difficult to predict for that market. I, <laughs> I get it. Good luck. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> but I can, I mean, I can look at it again. That'd be great. Um, if you were really good at it, you probably would be, you know, a Wall Street girl. Yes. You wouldn't be either. <clears throat> Okay, that would be awesome, Stacy. Please, if you don't mind. 
if you just use the same spreadsheet you used before, that would be great. Send it off to Brian, make the updates. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so back to proposed for fiscal year 24. Any other library questions? Okay, next up is Rec Committee. We have the proposal from Rec okay. Committee. Are there any questions for this group? There's nothing I, in the sheet that we had under proposed. I see one quick error though. Nope. Under archery, uh, it's supposed to be 250, not 2,000. 2, yeah, that's a little off. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I would love to, yeah. But... How come these are all yellow? Uh, because Dean and I went over this uh, ourselves. He's taking it back to Rec Committee to spend a I gotcha. okay. You know, to get a little bit more broad feedback on it. So, this is it fun? reasonably accurate estimate, but not final, final. Bear with me. This is my first time ever exploring a budget, um, but in a long time. Um, so, I, I did a lot of exploring with Brian. Um, but I did want to have one, if I could ask, I don't know if ask a question on the board, their thought. Uh, one line that we had was a toddler playground in there, and it was never, I, I kind of was like, why is that here? Um, it was it was like a 100 and 100, so it was like a wipeout, you know, match. Um, but my thought was, I was, I was curious whether that, whether it should be something that I keep in there if, like, you know, Grants or something came along that had to be directly related to that line. Or Are you looking on the expenses? Or it's the not on. It's just not a line. We took the line off. Oh, oh. yeah, we we took the line off. Good. Okay, because I'm going to. No, sorry. <clears throat> um. It well, it was. It shouldn't be taken off in our budget because it has a budget in twenty three fiscal year of one hundred and fifty dollars. So be, for that reason, we should be having it in our regular. Rosebud can't remove it from the membrane software. It's just been three years of no activity. So yeah. So that needs to be added back in. Okay. Thank you. And I, so you you mentioned archery. Yeah. And is that that under expense or revenue? Or uh, revenue? it's under its own line. Did you remove that from the budget? Because the toddler playground? I've got 500. Um, well, it says I've got to go back and look and see. Well, oh. what we had done was drop it from 500 to 250. Because, I mean, even though I would love to get the program going, I need, I, I need to grab all the programs that is going on now and, and try and hope that maybe I can uh, get other people involved. If this isn't, I would just recommend that you talk to the rec committee about any new program before yeah. getting it in our budget, even. Yeah. Because worst case scenario, we level fund where our revenue and costs zero out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I would just recommend that for our sure. budgeting year. Yeah. And I'm curious about the revenue going down for different sports because uh, Lisa called me actually, I wasn't able to get her call, but I got a voicemail from her yeah. about um, participation being up. So for that reason, I wonder why and if like basketball and gymnastics, maybe gym gymnastics is a little bit different yeah. uh, and futsal, whether or not those should actually be um higher well right now this year i i wasn't able to find anybody to run close up. i'm still trying but uh nobody okay. has contacted me to, to coordinate with that okay and um and the basketball um uh i mean we had I, I don't know whether, I'm not trying to predict it, and again, it's the first time doing this kind of thing, but reflecting on where numbers were in the last couple of years, and then 15, how many numbers I had registered 
Uh, uh, it wasn't until two days before the end date that I had, I only had 34. And then it, then it finally jumped up to about 40, I think I'm at 52. Um, the total for all, all the grade programs. So, um, but that's something again where I just won't, we, me and Brian talked and explored, but I'm taking everything to the rec committee and going over everything with them. And we'll come back to you guys. Okay. Fair enough. Thanks. I'm showing my ignorance here, but what's futsal? Soccer, indoor soccer. <clears throat> Gymnastics is one. Um, and yeah, I assume gymnastics is is usually a good source of revenue, but I assume that gymnastics has a space issue. Um, not, not that I'm aware of. They got all the equipment over at the over at the elementary school. It was it's more so far that uh, finding an instructor or somebody to do it. Okay. Uh, a lot of several of our programs, like football and a couple other people, kind of you know, are just moved on to something else. So we're trying to expand and reconnect, but also at the same time, I'm trying to just run what <laughs> run what I, I gotta run as well, day yeah. to day, day. So okay, yep. and I I would just ask that the committee and you guys take a hard look at the year end estimates again because. Seems to be a disconnect between that and proposed mm -hmm. from 24. And you know, to Eric's point, it's that's an important number for us because that goes to determine what we end up with for surplus at the end of the year or estimate of surplus. Just on gymnastics, uh, year to date, you're a little north of 3,100 revenue. Um, and yet you reduce the revenue to 250. I think that's another error. Because we wouldn't have dropped it down that. But well, I think I we know. did. Maybe I think the reason that the 3100 is one of two things. Uh, we sold a couple pieces of equipment that we weren't, we didn't expect we'd be using again. Um, they came before the select board okay. some time ago. I actually think that might have been the previous fiscal year and not the current one. That was not current year. Um, so it also might just be a clerical error. Why that's that high? There's we have not enrolled three thousand dollars worth of uh, gymnastic students. That's for sure. I don't know. If we had gymnastics this fiscal year, we did. We that's how much we make in gymnastics. If we like I can't speak to this off the top of my head. We used to make between three and five thousand dollars revenue on gymnastics. I'm pretty quite certain when I was doing rec year over year, like it was typically yeah, there you go. Forty five hundred was the budget one year. It's quite a lot of revenue. Who was who was running? Uh, Becca, but she's not here anymore. So Brian, if that is indeed the case, if there was a piece of equipment sold, it's probably mischaracterized in here. It should probably. I think that was F one one one. Okay. Okay. It, 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 double double check it. Um, but if it was a piece of equipment sold, it should probably go under miscellaneous revenue rather than that category like, like okay. that and that might make sense uh, i'm just trying to look across the numbers here on gymnastics and you know consistently a budgeted 500 uh granted the proposed budget is 250 but the 1300 in fy21 if a bunch if a bunch of that money is uh from sale of some equipment Okay, that that makes sense. I would anticipate the enrollment was down in FY twenty one and FY twenty two due to COVID and a lot of restrictions. If the FY twenty three to date is actually that's a good number. I mean, we're showing thirty one over thirty one hundred dollars. 
I think a, a good look needs to be redone by the rec committee on this yep. because a lot of things aren't really adding up the way it presented. I, I've got the spreadsheet up here and I've got a five year budget average for a 4,100, but a five year actual at 2641. So <clears throat> I don't know if I. I would have to look at the numbers more closely. I don't want to speak to it. I would have to look at the numbers more closely. I think that COVID has a lot to do with that. Uh, and we make a lot of money on gymnastics. It gymnastics, gymnastics really helps level fund rec overall. <clears throat> COVID impacted our revenue quite significantly in the rec department. Yeah. And we have somebody, and it seemed like having somebody, a good instructor would be critical to all of us. Totally agree. Yeah. We have good equipment that. So, so, do we have a gymnastic instructor? I don't know. Sounds like we don't right now. No. I've looked into it, but it was out with multiple people that have checked in, you know, and a lot of other programs. Uh, taking, uh, taking out people with it and elsewhere and find further away. If that, I mean, that's the key to rec, right? Uh, we got to find those people that are passionate to also do the program and to share that passion with, with right. students and the kids. Sure. And without that, so I, I am fully fully prepared to search and search because I know the revenue line is not going to have if we don't have it. Yep. Same thing with foot salt. Yep. Okay, let's keep moving. But yeah, so we'll hope to hear more from you, yeah. Dean and the committee. Yep. Okay, skate park. All right. So we have skate park up sure. next. Um, and Casey's here, I think, to talk about uh, the 21, especially, or I'm, I'm going to ask Casey to speak about the uh, 21,000 under the grants line. Uh, that was the, that included a, a proposal for some of the ARPA funds. Right. Um, and I'm going to request to move up because the hum of the lights does something with lighting. Nerves. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. And I literally, except for Brian, I can't hear you back. Oh. So I want to just move up where I can hear you. Brian, is there a reason we don't have that filled out? Uh, Are you looking at the data today, Kurt? When, I, I have, you're, if you're looking on the on your computer, it's, it's on here, but it's not on the computer. Okay, thank you. So you're talking about line 97 grants. Yes. And right. do you want to speak for a second, Casey, or do you want me yes. to ask questions? Or... Uh, I do. Uh, I don't know. If, I, I had sent some text along with my worksheet to Brian, and I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, I so, forwarded that on to you, but I that was this uh, afternoon, so I don't know if you had a chance to read it. Um, which is that uh, we brought in the idea of using our funds in order to be able to build a half pipe this, this coming summer. Uh, in order to do that, we have to close the gap between how much money we've actually raised and how much money the uh, estimate is currently, which is a little over $17,000 per gap, which is of the, which is rather is uh, COVID cost driven. Um, uh, as we, many of you may know, we have never asked, if we've done all the improvements to the park entirely on grants, ever, always. We've never used any down money. Um, and this, you know, I'm looking at basically entering, I guess, this request as part of the discussion of our money without knowing really where you guys are at in decision making or when you will know. I want to get this into the conversation. So you're putting can I just stop you there for one second? So you're saying that ten thousand dollars of this is assuming that 
the select board allocates ARPA funds? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, get part of ARPA funds allocated for what we're trying to do. Um, and the, the, the reminder uh, that we already had given to be passed, we gave a list of COVID, direct COVID related operating costs, you know, maintenance, uh, vandalism repair, supplies. So, anyway, um, and that was about a little over 20, a little over $2,000. Uh, and that's also, I'm hoping to be part of the ARPA conversation. Okay. How that marries with the budget process, I don't know. That's why I'm raising the question. Yep. I would personally, and I think the board probably supports me on this, would prefer you not include ARPA funds in your lines for your proposed budget. Uh, if you do that, then everyone is going to do that, and we're going to have a big, huge mess on our hands. Well, that's why I'm raising the question. <laughs> How do these two conversations do they intersect? Or we'll sure. keep no. we'll keep ARPA separate from okay. the other budget line items. All right. So you're um, estimating eleven thousand five hundred uh, in grants. Where where are you having? On the line that we're discussing. Uh, looking at grants. Uh, year, year, yep. Final. For, for which year? 24 or 23? 23. Final. Oh, the 21 five? That's what has $10,000 in our right. I'm, I'm sorry, what figure are you saying? 21 five. That's oh, what has $10,000 of assumed ARPA expenses in it. Right. right. The 21 five is. Um, that's twenty five thousand uh, in money on funds on hand for con concrete construction. That's uh, grants and ten thousand dollars in reserve, and an additional uh, two thousand dollars for some work on the bike track that would come from another grant. So that's twenty seven. I'm confused. What what do we need to make ten thousand out of? What box? Yeah, what line out here is the ten thousand coming out of the ARPA money coming out? Is it coming out of the estimated year end for twenty three? No. Or is it coming out of the proposed no, no. for twenty four? That would be entirely new money. Ten thousand. So that's now twenty four budget proposed. So yeah. the proposed twenty four budget is going to be eight hundred dollars for grants. Uh, yeah, I call it the, the eight hundred in there is I'm assuming that there must be some other local grants that we can go for. So eight hundred dollars seemed like a okay thing to put in for for that for a proposed but grant application next year. But that's year. not a guaranteed no. grant that you know they no. have. No, but 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 it's you know in the past we've always done a bit of estimating in revenue for uh, you know there are grants that we're going to go for. And I understand. The, the figure so, shows up. Yeah. We've had a lot of discussions earlier tonight about just trying to. So FY twenty three for grants end of year. Yeah. Twenty one thousand five hundred. Right. That's no grant we have. In possession or on their way? Uh, let's see. Let me just check. Uh, there's another class, the, the $5,000 grant that you said I can go for tonight. Yeah. That would be in 23, not 24. Okay, so it'd be 5000 taken away from the 21500 Yes. Um, you didn't get it. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, I'm looking at expenses. Yes, 21.5 is we have $16,500 on hand, which includes, uh, you know, that's the grants we've already gotten. And that $5,000 application, which you approved tonight, that's the 21.5. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we just oh, turned. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So you may or may not still get yeah. all of that. May, not, may or may not get that five thousand. Yep. But you know, in in the past, we've worked with 
putting in figures <laughs> things that you're going for. So, but then, yeah, I, I, in, in my spreadsheet, I've got that, you know, the 5,000 is added to 16.5. Now, like with the library, where this could get us in trouble is if we're showing five thousand dollars revenue coming in before June thirtieth, and it's not a sure thing. That's what we're going to be using for uh, cash on hand, estimated cash on hand to reduce tax. Right. So, but I, I figured it was estimated. That's why it was in. So, if, but if if you're not comfortable with that, then I, think I mean, it's a money in, money out. You don't get the money, you're not going to spend it. Right. I guess. I would be the one coming to the show on the expense side as being spent somewhere, presumably. Well, if, if we haven't got the grant, it won't go on the expense size. But it'll be in the budget on the expense side when we spend it. No, because we just approved the grant. So they this was not an anticipated expense. Are you, are you showing a $5,000 expense yes. in your expense line? Yes. Okay. Oh, for the end of the year. Yes. Okay. Which needs to be rebuilt. And just, just to make it more complicated, <laughs> um, if if my calculations of grant balances are are correct, we have fifteen hundred dollars, something like that, in older grants that would be dedicated to that program. That elementary education program that we could use. So, if, if I didn't, if we didn't get that five thousand dollar, a new five thousand dollar grant, we have uh, some money on hand and some money in our existing budget, and we would try to pull it off in a smaller scale. But it would always match what was here. If that, if that now makes sense. Okay. Okay, I think we should keep moving because I'm worried that we're going to get stuck. Yeah. Thanks, Casey. Um, so basically what we I think we landed on is taking for the skate park grant line this the year 24, taking out the ten thousand dollars and making that eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Um and I have a note to just confirm that five thousand is accounted for in the expenses. Yeah, you'll see it. Okay. Okay. Any other questions about this? I'm just going to state again that I think the twenty-one five should be sixteen five. I yeah. And the five should be removed from the expense because if if they get the grant, it's great. It can show up on next year's budget as estimated year end because it's a known quantity. If they don't, yep. it isn't. Yeah. I agree. I think assuming doing the grant is a bad budgeting practice. Okay. Uh, historical society revenue. Still on revenue, by the way. We're almost on revenue, but we're still there. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Any questions out of the historical society? Has any of them, so now that does the TNL revenue actually come to the town or does that go to historic ink? Are you talking to the network or historical society? Yeah, well, I was wondering if the uh, Johnson Historical revenue. Society aimed or if it came to the town. Oh, the time money. They were talking the pie sales. Yes. We should probably call them cake and pie sales. As cake, cake and pie. pie. <laughs> it's not cake and juice. I believe the only revenue that or money in that goes to the ink is fundraising you do for, uh, right, for the capital. Yeah, capital campaign stuff. So, yeah. I don't have any more questions on that. 
Okay. Else. Anybody else? We go to Tuesday night live, Reginald. Okay, good night. Yeah. Uh, any questions on Tuesday Night Live? Is there a reason its revenue is a thousand dollars more next year? And everything's a lot more, actually. Um, may I speak to that? Yeah, please. All right, this is uh, this is Howard Romero, the chairman of the. Oh, board. Um, yeah, uh, we you know we don't we take no town money at all. Uh, everything we spend is money we have raised in our three revenue streams. Um, and this is sort of a, a best guess as to what will be this year. It's really hard to say. Um, if we have anything in excess, well, we, we try to pay our bands as much as we can. That's that's the guiding light. And uh, depending on what we what we earn for, Revenue from our vendor fees, uh, the um, I'm having a senior moment here. There are two other revenue streams: uh, vendor fees, sponsors, and or is that looks anyway. like anyway. Um, our from our revenue, we we know that before the season begins, uh, and we certainly don't ever get into deficit spending deficit spending because there's no need to you know, we we um like that why is it more well we hope to pay the bands more um and that's primarily it and we also i also figured that the, the portalette's probably going to cost us a little more this year i don't know that for sure but okay looks like you're you're uh raising vendor fees too mm -hmm. yeah Okay. So sponsors, <laughs> you raise significantly, but it looks like it's more in line with your actuals. Yeah, that's right. Sponsors, that's right. We have sponsors, vendors, and yeah. So, um, yeah. And it's all it's all sort of a, a guess because you know we don't know. We 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 got pretty good response from our vendors, and there've been a bunch of them that's been with us a while. But our new routine that we started. Two years ago, I guess, uh, having a thousand dollar sponsorship for for the uh, uh, for the sponsors, uh, th that's that's really variable. Um, depends on whether or not the college feels like chipping in again for that or whatever, um, and we really can't control that, of course. Yeah, but we're reasonably comfortable that confident that we're going to be able to put on another season um with the budget you see so there you are okay thanks howard okay I think the uh, record should know that casey comes personally and presents her case and howard does not yeah <laughs> howard, you, 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 you want to you want to see the foot that i'm nursing right now yeah <laughs> he, he just got out of surgery oh, oh he did. <laughs> yeah yeah i've got a foot that's about three times the size of the other one so right Okay. Uh, you have a question, Duncan? I had one question. Um, on the miscellaneous income or miscellaneous revenue, yeah. um, we're showing that as FY23 estimated year end yeah. of 800. Do we have any reason to believe that we're going to get $800 in miscellaneous revenue? Yeah, yeah we do. Um, that 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 comes from some sometimes at some of these concerts, um, uh, this, this, this little mob of 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 uh, children come up to us and say we want to pass the bucket for the bands and so you know so they do and but we have to count that as revenue of course so it looks like we don't have any act any uh actuals to date for the 800 for the fiscal year for this fiscal year and we have an estimate of 800 for this fiscal year is should that be zero at this point if it's only something that's raised at the I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I'll I'll take that as a yes. Got it. Thanks, there's, Howard. There's nothing shown for actuals for three fiscal years. Yeah. It Five. almost looks like it's being all put into the top donations instead of right. Looks like it's duplicate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I have no yeah. I have no problem budgeting for it, but I'm thinking that it should be zero for year end estimate. Right. Ah. 
<clears throat> okay. Whatever. Done. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. But I, I you guys have the to top one, to you could probably put 1,600. Well, we have zero today. No, I mean, uh, yeah, you will. Because, well, that's right, though. Yeah, if that revenue is really made by passing the hat at con at the concerts, the concerts won't happen until the next fiscal year. Right. So that means there was no money brought in during, during the beginning of this last so That seems a little odd. I think I'd want to check on that before we... Yeah, I might want to check on that because they should have brought donations in the beginning, uh, up, you know, the FY to date. Right, there should be hat. Half the summer's worth. Yeah. Yeah. You're showing. Well, that's very like six thinking. months for either. Yeah. Okay. Start from July. Yeah. So it should be yeah. a whole season worth right there. Okay. So there could be $800 missing now. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't really know how to account for that, frankly. Here's what happens is that if, um, if the, if the audience wants to chip in for the bands to, to bump up our, ability to pay the bands um we you know we we generally hand um divvy that month what we get in for donations we divvy up among the band members uh that night so it never really goes through our books at all now i don't know whether that we, that's something we ought to change but it makes sense because we are in fact tipping the tipping the band that is playing that night so rather rather than you know oh, what i mean are you yeah. On? yeah we have a treasurer no, here so. on okay let's move right. on oh. we're getting a little off track let's move on yeah. okay um I, this is the real good stuff the expenses ready to dive in right. first line cut it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I did nothing. laughs> it's less than minimal wage and that's illegal i'm trying to protect the town here uh office salaries Yes. How did you figure out the proposed for 24? Uh, proposed for 24 uses uh, for the first half of the budget cycle, the amount that we approved as a, that'll take effect as of January 1st. And uh, the suggested, uh, we had discussed about projecting in the future, like setting a mm -hmm. uh, uh, the the CPI from the year before. Yeah, so, so that's that in the estimate. So FY twenty four has a step. Has yeah, it has a, an estimated step built into it, and the estimated step is the current year CPI. So and, this note, sorry, go ahead. Well, the note for eighty five percent of total. Salary includes three percent right raise in January. Nope. That's really not. Accurate. It does no, not no include more. a three percent raise for January because we didn't estimate three percent this you year. You know it needs to be updated, right? Yeah, we've um, estimated three percent increases for quite a few years running. I, when we do the budget, right? Yeah, yeah. and that's why our uh, our budgeted number versus our estimated final year is a significant gap is because the raise was more than three percent yes what was your question Duncan? my question was going to be um is is that does that line item include the recreation coordinators salary it does my thought on that is that we should put that down on your rec expense but we can have that discussion when we well i don't know maybe it's an appropriate time to talk about it now whether it should be here or whether it should be under the rep budget because there's a coordinator's salary. And it used to be there. Well, it used to be there and a prior board wanted it moved into the overall salaries. I'm not sure of the discussion behind that. I wasn't on the board at the time. Um, but is it uh, maybe some question to Rosemary? Is it easier when all of them are in the same category because you're also taking out of it the, uh, yeah, I think maybe that's it's easier why. now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, that could still happen. Um, it would just be the salary that would show under that line. 
the, all of your all of your deductions, your FICA, and all that stuff could could still be good. I I guess I guess I'm not. I tend to partly agree with it, but. Like if we do that, highway. then we should put highway separately too. Like you just well, open a can of well, worms. Highway, 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 highway is not in here. Neither, neither town lease or anything like that. Or oh, I'd have to look. But are the library? Sound library has its own. There's library during library. So every committee or department that's funded is broken out. We can move on for now. Make a note about that one, Duncan, because we are kind of lagging behind, but that was a good question. Yeah. Uh, we can move it back. This is a little bit easier for bookkeeping for both Rosemary and myself, but it's not It's not that much of a challenge Town to split it officer. out. Town officers, officials. Did we talk about we were going to increase or put uh, the help officers on Hourly versus well, what's like? What's the town officers and officials? Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, uh, that line item, JPs. Yeah, uh, election official, town historian. A uh, little note on the side here. Fire warden. Gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Next item, that go. Animal control. Yes, and uh, health officer. Both animal control and health officer services are stipends. They're not. And that's why I asked if you could do a little uh, control. animal control is but, uh, on call yeah. basis. Uh, animal control health is, officer okay. is by stipends. Do, do, you, do you have a chance to dig into that a little bit? I'm going to ask Rosemary for <clears throat> some assistance on this. I, I didn't get an opportunity to sit down today, but um, the you're right. The animal control is paid not hourly, but per call. Per call, and uh, the health officers are paid just a flat stipend. Right. So the problem with health officers being paid a, a flat stipend is that we don't have a consistent and equitable way in which they respond, and I think we should we want to keep them. Is I guess what I <clears throat> the first thing I want to say. They're really critically important to the health of our community no, for lots of reasons, right? For lots of reasons, and I think we should be paying them differently. I think they should have a different pay structure. And per call would I think be much better than a stipend just paid once. And do you know how much we'd have to carry to do it by call? That, and that's, I don't. You're a dependent. That's an but, important yeah, question. Yeah, but you know, <clears throat> there's documented amounts of calls for multiple <laughs> years. How many calls say it this year? Yeah. Or an average of the last four. I, I don't know. But I think the other thing we'd have to consider is do we consider a call the first time they go and any follow up? Because some because some instances are they go out, but they spend hours and hours and hours on follow-ups, not even on the first initial call. So what is the follow-up look like when it comes to the stipend? And that or is that why I was hoping we could take out the, the schedule for animal control, because animal control, if I remember correctly, <clears throat> had a sort of a, a schedule of what constituted a call. You know, was it every time that they got a phone call? A phone call was one thing. If they actually had to go out and investigate, it was another thing. And if you know, oh, if there was a follow up, it was another. Is that something that we set, or is that something the state sets? We the set. We set. The board set this years ago. It should be in our policies. It hasn't. Well, it's not. It's it, hasn't not. it hasn't changed for a long time. That's helpful. So, so that would be something convenient to, or nice to look at and make something similar for help out. Why are you saying it's not our policies? It's I I, I have not seen it in the policy book. Oh, it's okay. not in the policy manual. It's it, not the policy book. It's in the policy. Okay, thanks. So, yeah, it, it has not been an adopted policy by the board. Who could do the homework on this, or at least figure out what we need to budget? We have to change policies down the road, but look for budget numbers. If that's the interest, I can put it together. Yeah, I guess we need to know how many calls a year. You know, roughly. 
Well, we could and, either, and we can either do a straight for. hourly rate, you know, for every call, uh, or we could do a combination of a, a call number. Right. We, we, well, we they have really to know. file a form, right? So we would know how many instances of a form. Maybe we could invite them in. Well, they file a report. Oh, they file a report. They have to file it. If it's a dog bite. I well, it, <clears throat> and the. Okay. No, not really. The the health officers, the state website lists the health officers' phone numbers. They're also listed on our website. So people call them directly and ask ask them to come out or ask them questions. Um, and the it can escalate to something that has to be recorded, but they deal with a lot of stuff that's, you know, advice, just going out and looking at something. They do a lot that doesn't rise to something that we've been keeping records of. A lot of ten we request an inspection because the landlord is not. If you know, a request, if an inspection is requested, we do get a, we do keep a record of all of those uh, because. Well, we must keep a record of their bills to us. It's a stipend. It's a stipend. It's a stipend. It's, oh, they get paid no matter what. Yeah. So it's. And it's what is it? Two thousand. We only used to have two health offices. We got three now. Three. Well, Brian's one. No, that's more. Oh, four. Brian's four one. with me. Um, I can do some estimating talking to our health officers. We don't have records for a lot of it, but let's do yeah. that. We should come up with an estimate. I I can estimate. Yeah. something and dig out dig out the animal control piece too because i think that's worth reviewing like eric right i don't it's probably been 10 years since that's been even looked at <clears throat> you know the on call but we should be able to put in here uh, the animal control cost services we've budgeted four thousand for it and we rarely meet the yeah the four thousand I mean, three thousand probably yeah. would be close if you look at the actuals for the last three years. Yeah, but if we want to bump, if we decide to bump that rate up a little bit, the, the amount that they get mm -hmm. per call, maybe it's better to leave the four in. Yeah. Because like usually, it's, it's got to have been 10 or 12 years mm -hmm. since I've looked at it. Okay, so Brian, I'll follow up. Give me one second to catch up on my notes. Um, auditor salaries. When's the last time they got a raise? Oh, it's minimum wage. Yeah, they actually got a bump in uh, 23. Or... Did we make a $15 an hour? I don't remember what it was, but they did get a bump not that long ago. I mean, very little. It doesn't really. And that's not a stipend. That's an hourly rate. Mm -hmm. So if you go How back, if you go back up one that? line, you've got recreational salaries there with a with a number of sixteen six eighty six and FY twenty one. Are those salaries or are those like the note there says this is where we want to cover rec expense? It is this where we want to cover it. That was oh. a leftover note from the conversation about we have three different spots where we could have covered recreation salary and where should it go. <clears throat> but we had. Yeah, we had a number of spots where it might have been. I think that was the first year of the year we the article. Well, we made a separate line item. I think that line item was already there. I, I think that line item was already there. I don't think we made it. I think we just reused an old one. Yeah, probably going back to one with Jimmy. Okay, so do we have anything else for if we move beyond that auditor salaries or planning salaries? 
other questions? The holiday sick and vacation time on the same scale as I guess yeah, it's just done by a third or fifteen percent. Yep. Right. Fair enough. So and that also has the note about three percent raise, which is wrong. So does that need to be minimum wage, right? Rosemary, does anybody get minimum wage in our world? Because that's going up. There's some state parks. Yeah, the select board members. We don't get that. We don't need. Yeah. So is it correct, Brian, if it's calculating based on that three percent? Which number? The holiday sick vacation. I, it's not calculated on three percent. It's calculating based on the current year CPI, as was discussed at the uh, last joint meeting. And you've got a backup worksheet that yep. that number derives from. If, but it's not fifteen percent. No, 15%, the breakdown is 85% um, is considered um, sort of base pay and 15% is just, it's just a round number of what is holiday of, of the total pay, 15% of the total I pay. I understand, but I asked the question because 15% of $201,000 is $30,200, not $35,600. Uh, the... Two hundred one thousand is eighty five percent of total salaries. Oh. Oh. So you got to because have we're reimbursed together, or because we don't have to pay for all of Susan and Rosemary. Right. Okay, eighty five percent. No, it, it's eighty five and fifteen. Of you have one hundred percent of the salary, which is everything. Oh, you broke it down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 85% mm -hmm. yeah. of it goes into straight pay and 15% gotcha. of it goes into... We're good. I got it. Okay. Okay. Anything else from this section that we want to discuss? Why is unemployment red? Uh, I don't have the unemployment breakdown uh, from passive at this time. Unemployment will be... We pay one unemployment insurance uh but we split it up by public works and everybody else so until i get the breakdown that includes job codes can we assume 500 dollars just for the sake of subtotals yep so i can't tell on this black bill one there is it's there nothing, nothing in there yeah okay to your point i think a general I think it would really be useful for us to have some number, even if it's just a placeholder number in all of these categories. Yeah, because that's the same thing us. with the health officer and the animal control. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> okay, select board expense. All right. Like board expense. Is there anything we want to do? The town meeting. Are we going to have to mail out the Australian ballot section of the town? Or so the we're not going to be. It's not a state requirement. We don't believe that we're going to be required to. I don't know if we're going to have to do that. Uh, we're in the next grouping. Just in one, one, you're, one, on, you're on town report expense. It's on the yeah, yeah, right. camera <clears throat> expense. 147. Oh, gotcha. So as far as we know right now, the only thing we'll have to do is mail out the town reports and we'll have a normal town meeting day. Yep. We, we thinking we're gonna meet in person? I would I I would hope. I would think we would by now. We couldn't last year. Well it's like the same meeting that they did last year at the last hour. Yeah. Change the law. <clears throat> well at sunset. Taking some time to come. So, if we did have to mail out ballots, should that be up? Is this where you would capture it for town meeting day? Oh, wait a minute. Now that's under a current year, anyways. What do you mean? Um, oh, that would be this current, this calendar year. This, yeah. This and there's a typo there. It should be 38 for end of year, not 35. 
Okay, so I guess I'll. <laughs> that's looking at a crystal ball out in 2024. 20, Who knows what we'll be doing now? Okay. Is there a reason we don't have audit expense for 2024? Yeah, I have a note on that. I. Didn't we sign a three year? We signed a three year agreement with the auditors. I'll fill that in. So are we are we doing annual audits now? Yes, we will be. And they're coming in February. Oh, oh good. That's good news. FY23. FY22. Because we're in 23 right now. No, 23 won't be closed when they're here. Okay. So at some point, we will actually be able to do away with all this estimating nonsense and just go to an audited fund balance for the purposes of establishing what the actual surplus is and what we want to propose to spend it on. And we're gonna to have to figure out some one year gap mechanism to transition between this whole estimating process and a known audited balance. And I, I have no idea what that is, but I'm just throwing it out there. Down my pay grade. I look forward to that. <laughs> well, it, it really will it really will make the budgeting, you know, part of our Part of the agony that we, that we go through on this is trying to figure out what the surplus is and then have, and it's all estimated, you know, it's all six months in advance. And, and at some point, we'll actually be able to work from an audited fund balance, which is a known number, a number known and certified by Rosemary and the auditor. And we won't have to do any of this estimating because we can, we can get rid of that estimated column in the budget. Doesn't make sense to me, but it's okay. I don't need to know it right now. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> wasn't the planning commission asking for a little bit more? Where's planning commission? Down. It's yeah. all 40 million. Well, maybe 40, we should 40. give him some of our twelve thousand because we've got select so like for consultant services with twelve thousand um, estimated for year end as well as FY24. Do we do we know of anything we're going to spend twelve thousand on between now and the end of the year? Hopefully, like a pool or something. <laughs> or a pool. Big, big party. The planning commission requests an increase to our annual budget from fifteen hundred to two thousand in anticipation of minor costs involved with updating the combined municipal plan. But they weren't even in there for fifteen. I know it's hilarious. Now that's planning commission expected that. Their full budget. That was what we put there to cover someone doing their meeting minutes, and they've never taken advantage of it. Uh, the meeting minutes are actually under planning salaries on line one thirty five. Oh, and uh, okay. uh, wait, what? One thirty five planning salaries. Oh my gosh! So, so what was the planning commission expense? Mailings. Can we rename lines that are only about minutes to just say minutes? Because they're not salaries, they're just, they're cost of like- Isn't that difficult for Rosemary to do or something? Um, is it? Rosemary? Yeah, we want them to There's a total number of characters. Is it difficult or is it just like uh, something to do, something else? I didn't learn five minutes. Look, she already changed it. Sorry, yeah. Very complicated. All right. No, then they haven't for quite some time. So their expense must be for like mailings, if they ever. Yeah. It's yeah. mailings and getting ready for uh, the that they're going to have to update the plan soon. So they're going to be going out for. So are we going to raise the one thousand and two thousand? Can I just ask, like, what? Okay, so wait a second. So. 
line 135 should be an estimate final of zero dollars actually yeah i was just going to make that comment. if they don't actually have anybody taking the minutes and there's no expense that should be zero shouldn't it uh it what we have done some years in the past is to still encourage them that they probably should hire somebody to do their minutes um we could change it to six hundred dollars yeah, that would be the most it could be is half of that. Yeah. If they started. If they tomorrow. started now, it would presumably. So you're saying estimated final should be 600. That's right. Estimated I'd... something that is not going to happen once again. Probably not. All right. Yeah, we can just zero it out. And for next year, we the 12. Cut it now. They're coming up on starting to do the the municipal plan, the new municipal plan. It's kind of even more important for them to have their minutes. Okay. Casey? Yes. Is this the section where the economic development position with will be? Mm, good question. Is that anything? Can you that up for one second? Yeah, can you put that up for one second? Sure. Good question. Won't forget it. There is um, a line in. <laughs> before we get off from the the okay, that is for that. Planning Commission expense for line one forty nine is two thousand dollars. That's the request. Right. They said it was previously fifteen hundred, but they were just confused. That's okay. Okay. But would their track record and record of spending anything? Right. I mean we're they, gonna double yeah. But they're coming up on to doing the minutes. They're doing the minutes. So that's the thing. But if they need consultants, like. But if they're doing, yeah, they've got they a line item for planning commission consultant. Where is that? But oh, that's it's five or seven. Which they haven't. 157. Yeah, which they haven't spent on. Well, they've never had, it. looks like they've, they've never spent Maybe anything. that's the line that should just be removed. No, we've used that in the past. Yeah, it has been used in the past. We've hired. When they used to hire a consultant. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's put the two thousand back in one forty nine. That seems like the most generic, appropriate place, and they can determine where they're at. So you're leaving out a thousand here. One forty nine. Did you they say? They requested two. Let's put it at two. Let's put it at two. Yeah, one forty nine. Line one fifty one reappraisal plan. Shouldn't that have at least the thirteen thousand comes in? That's that's a money in, money out. Oh, for the twenty-four budget. Yeah. That that thirty-seven. I asked the question, but I I think we see that it's a reservation yeah. from last yes. year. Uh, but the state gives us thirteen something, thirteen thousand something annually. Annually, and I think we use that. Rosemary, you can. That's for salary. I thought we were gonna. Is the the reason we put the thirty seven in is we got to build that fund up again. Yes, right. I but, didn't put anything in there yet because I was anticipating that to be part of our discussion about reserve funds for the upcoming year. Well, this is where you would, if we were going to start budgeting that thirteen thousand into the reserve fund, this is where we would do it. That's not a lot of money they're giving us. Well, so there's you get every year what a dollar per parcel plus what's maybe then eight dollars So is that is that revenue coming in? Is that thirteen thousand coming in somewhere else? In some other line item? Right? This is expense. Oh, yeah, this is expense. It's shown on our revenue side is the uh, maintenance of grand maintenance list. grand list, yeah, and it's about. Well, FY22 was 13205 We have not gotten the payment for this year. No, it doesn't matter. In March. What line is that? Uh, line 30. No, not that line. Okay. Yeah, so you're saying that the expense should be twelve thousand five hundred? Well, or thirteen. 
thousand. I would say what we have is a known number that comes in is a thirteen thousand two o or whatever it is here uh, two o five. Put at least that much in twenty five four Y FY of twenty four going into our reserve. For okay. both lines thirty and for both revenue and expense. Well, we, we'll already have it on the revenue side. Well, we have twelve thousand five hundred on revenue. Right? So yeah, it, it should be the thirteen probably. But if we don't get the money until March, we're but that money currently is going into the line item one fifty nine, listers contract and services. No. Isn't that what rules I just said? I think that's what that's what it has been. It, it, it was. We were pulling it out of the reserve fund every year, trying to bring the reserve fund back down when we were doing the rolling reappraisal. Now we're not doing rolling reappraisal. We got to start building up that reserve fund. And we're going to be hit with a two hundred thousand dollar reappraisal. You're right, Eric. Which is, I mean, it better be more than 13,000. <laughs> well, there's some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, what, 50,000 in that fund or something? Like that? Oh. When are we looking at having to shell out the 200 grand or plus for a reappraisal? Whenever the CLA hits 80%. I'm not seeing the reappraisal reserve. That's no, actually. it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. We're, we're probably got a few years. But you got to start thinking about it. No, no, I, I'm nervous about it. I think the CLA. Uh, 7,000 right now. 7? Plus, plus the 37,000. For, for What's, yeah. What's our CLA? It was right 7,000 on June 30th. 97. Oh, you're dropping. Because it hasn't captured the uh, right. COVID. It's a rolling. Yeah. What is it? Three year rolling? Three or five? Three. 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 So it's it's capturing the COVID when we get the next one. Yeah. So it's just the it's fixing this the eight point five three year roll, rolling. Parts of the Yeah. Quickly enough. We're going to be signing. So. I mean, do you want to put that proposed putting that money in and then coming back to it with reserve fund conversations? Is that what you're saying? So we can move I, on. I have to put in 13,000. In line 150. I mean, 51. 151. 151. Yeah. And then when we talk about reserves, we might modify We it. might bump it up a little to try to get that. All right, done. Got it. Development review board expense. They haven't spent anything. They haven't ever met, have they? Uh, they've met once or twice. Uh, when we first. But not for a. Uh, no, uh, they're so far. Nothing's been appealed to them. Yeah. Okay, so for to Casey's like, point, go ahead. Well. I don't know What's the difference between line one fifty seven and line one fifty or one sixty one? One fifty seven and one sixty one. You can tell me I'm stupid. They're both P commission. One is consultant. One is contractor. Right. They're all the, zero. That's some artifact. At some point, it made sense to differentiate between the two. It. Okay. Has not in they're a number all, of years. Forever, right there. I think those well, we're talking about making it. Okay. Yeah, be one of the ones that goes. Right Rosemary already changed it. It's gone. It's gonna make it connected. <laughs> uh, the next line, though, one fifty eight, uh, select board contracted services. Is that where we put our? If we have economic development. Contracted services, is that where that would go? That would be where it would go if we hired uh, 
uh, ECI to build a bridge that would you know, potentially go under something like, I mean, that's, the, there's a difference. There is a difference between contracted services and consultant services. And, I, I, you know, they could, the economic development piece could probably be considered a consultant or a contractor. Right now, we've got that that consultant services. We've got twelve thousand in there with a, a budget with an with an estimated year end of twelve thousand. That was one of my questions. Are we do we think we're going to use that twelve thousand for those? We might twelve. That's a lot. <laughs> We can trim it a little bit. What are you talking about? Oh, are you just talking about? Okay, that, why? That was a very knowing look. I, was... I know, right? I felt like you guys had a moment there. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me that. The 12,000, what is the 12,000 intended for? What is the purpose of that? I don't know. You guys made the budget last year and it was in there. We've always had it as a placeholder if the select board or if the planning commission ever needed a consultant. That's where we would take it from. Let's see. It's mostly been placeholder. Yeah. 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 Like if we had wanted to go ahead with the updating the yeah. development plan for the light industrial park, this is exactly the mumbling proposal. Twelve thousand out of the thirty-five could have come out of this. Yeah. Line. So maybe we don't want to try that. Maybe we don't. I mean, I, I threw it out there as a question mark. It was a good placeholder, and it might be good to keep it here now, but for the location, the place come out uh, and cut if we have complications with our call, we might need a consultant. And yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, okay, my question yeah, is that. Technically, to... we could add that to the 40 that we've got for economic development. Well, we have the economic development 40 in this fiscal year, not in next fiscal year. But that's where this is, too. That's where the 12 is. I understand. So that's my question. Mm -hmm. Is uh, the expectation mm -hmm. that we're going to have economic development cost? And should we be applying that? If so, should we be applying that somewhere here? Well, right now, we've got a year end estimate. Well, so it's being estimated to spend it all right now at the end of the year. Right. Yeah, I don't care about end of the year. I'm thinking about next year right now. Like, we don't have currently that 40,000 was an article very specifically to our current fiscal year, not to any future fiscal year. Are we looking to budget an equivalent or portion of or more for a feature fiscal year for 24? <laughs> That's a good question. Gonna get somebody on board. For it. Yeah, we'll have an update on some of that. But but I mean it raises the question if we if we think that we're gonna spend an equivalent amount of money, it has to go on issue and budget somewhere. Yep. Whether it's under the CED salaries line item or the consultant line item or what, um, it does need to run somewhere. Maybe tonight's executive session will shed some more light on that for future meeting. Perhaps. So why don't we move on if there's a perhaps on that? Can we uh, we can flag next to that one somewhere? Big flag. Got it. Fifty stars. <laughs> red, red star, gold star, silver star, silver, whatever. Um, sure. General insurance. Um, did you go through, or I guess it was too late. Next year, we definitely need to go through the building schedule on that. We'll find out where we are at on that. Uh, planning commission projects and grants. Uh, this is where I gave them the two thousand. Sorry, I forgot that discussion on the front page. So trim this back to one. Sure. Wait, sorry, where are we? Uh, 163. 
Do we think that they're going to trim that back to one for next year? Because you, you already... say that, can you specify what you're saying rather than saying that okay. each time? So line 163 for FY24, framing that back from 2000 to 1000. Because that is where he had the, select, the planning commission's request, but we had added on another page. We are just moving on and leveling out. Beautification committee, why did they spend $900 almost like that? I don't know. We think that donation was donated. Right. They had, a, yeah, increase. Their revenue was increased. To um, offset the yeah, they increase, a lot more money than what's they their got. proposed budget. Uh, I don't have that in yet. It is expected to not be a change. It's expected to be well, level funded. Wait this year on uh, projects, events, and celebrations. So I, I had a note on the beautification. You remember Kyle came and talked to us about. I thought about trying to hire a gardener concept and all that. I'm just, I'm not advocating one way or the other. I'm just saying she had that as a proposal. To me, there didn't seem to be enough meat on that proposal to put a, to put a dollar figure in here. Um, and I personally wouldn't be comfortable just putting it in our budget. I'd much rather ask the voters if it was something they wanted to do, but um, as an article, so maybe we don't need to talk about that in terms of a budget unless somebody thinks we can put a whole bunch of money in here. I would agree Bless with you. you. Eric, okay. thoughts? Yeah, typically, if you were going to add a new position, we've gone to the voters first. And if they agree to it, then it's rolled into our follow on budget. Seems reasonable to me. You good? You still awake over there? I'm starving. I'm starving. <laughs> Don't we take a dinner break? We were promised <laughs> pizza. <laughs> <Yeah. Don't laughs> these meetings. I'm giving you water. Context <laughs> events. You're getting it's hydrated. <laughs> uh, this is one that. Uh, we have not made much use of for for several years. We had a, we did a Which few one? things: projects, events, and celebrations. Remember when we did the Y two K party? Yeah, <laughs> and he was playing the bagpipes. Uh, yeah, before he got hurt. Yeah, Sharon Burns and I coordinated that whole. There's expense. no there's no big milestones coming up in the next year. Who knows? Are we turning up? Two hundred and fifty years or something. It's seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I think it's fine. I just um, leave it in there. We all had building grant. Yeah. We're expecting to spend the budgeted amount, but is there anything that's going to happen between now and July one? I'd have to touch base and see what where it was left at the end of the year if we'd finished. I know that the there was the proposal about. Uh, or, or a request to kind of do something with that area where we had put the portal light that the portal light wasn't working out in. So we've well, got we, that kind of alco. We used all of the money that has, I, I think we need an update on that. Yeah. Uh, but that's why I left it level funded because I know there's at least one request still out there. Okay. Uh, that the board had not approved yet. EV charging station, we still want to keep that plugged in. Anybody? Any takers? I guess we're leaving a plug. The wood oven, they are, they sent it, Jasmine sent an email saying they're level funding um, because it's money in, money out. They don't actually spend. I wonder if for that reason we should actually have revenue and expense higher and more actually accurate. match so it act, is more accurate. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. Say that again. I think that we should change the um, expense from five hundred dollars to like twenty seven hundred dollars, or or thirteen hundred 
like last year it was 1300 this year sorry this year was 1300 prior years it was 27 we should get closer to either of those numbers i need to care which one i agree um, for both the revenue and the expense so that 1300 is just year to date so yeah. it probably will be about 27. they do whatever in the spring they, do they, do in the they do a couple in the winter time mm -hmm. oh okay Okay. Do they have revenue line items? They do. So the revenue line item should equal. Yep. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. So Brian, can you just make a note to yep. make them more? Yeah, because I don't think they. Actually. I don't think they. They don't spend more than they get. No. 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 They don't receive any tax funds. All right. Make it more accurate. All right. Let's slash that ten cents on the grand list to <laughs> make it remote ground and get it all together. That's yeah, that's that idea. Uh interest on loan payments, we need the changes that'll go along with the capital equipment fund before we can calculate this line item. Can we pick a number just for the sake of subtotals once again? Sure. Uh it will be Pretty close to eleven thousand dollars. So let's put that in for now. Is that do, do we have any loans that are variable rate that are no, we don't have any. If we're gonna start putting the expense in, we should probably have put in what's gonna come over the reserve fund or from the reserve fund to the revenue side too. Otherwise, we'll have to do that too. That's on Highway highway highway. Yeah. Yeah. We I hadn't touched that yet because of interest expenses highway related. Right. I think this coming year, I don't think we have any loans that aren't highway. It's probably all highway related. Yeah. Hmm. Holcom industrial. And we won't have interest for industrial? Nope. That finishes um, in April, I think it is. What's the emergency management? Management. I assume that's risk uh, reserve fund. Yeah, reserve fund. Yeah. What's the total amount in that? About fifty more weeks. A little higher, sir. Fifty-eight thousand as of June thirtieth. Uh, and that is for when we go underwater or something. Yeah. Quite literally. We yeah. tapped it for a couple COVID expenses too, um, yeah. but yeah, it's mostly been natural disasters. Well, the uh, the thirty thousand, thirty five thousand for the ice jam because that was not reimbursable. In the right. Yeah. yeah. The conservation reserve fund. This is the first time it's come up in a couple of years. Yep. Can you explain why? Uh, not really anything more than just they want to contribute money to the Conservation Reserve Fund. Out of their surplus from this year. The Conservation Reserve Fund, uh, if you recall, the, the phrasing for that is that it's funded by line item, not by uh, surplus. And so they're changing it to $1,000 because they would have liked to have gotten $500 last year. So they're decreasing the current budget by 500, adding 500 to it and 500 from last year. What's that reserve fund at? That is... 40. We spent, we spent $5,000 from that reserve fund for the trail. The trail. Yeah, the but um, we never, right, really in. we had not asked for the line item at the time to get started. Most of it because I didn't realize that we needed to. And so when we were looking at reserve funds, I realized that. So. I put the figure in for um, I think a thousand dollars to to make up for the fact that we had missed it from 2019 when the fund was started. Am 
money doesn't come out of that unless it's a natural resource environmental related project. If the select board approves, the conservation commission takes the leadership on it and then we vote to approve it. You know, it's a place that somebody can invest, um, put in, in their will and use money to put it. We'd like to get it for a dollar. And we mentioned 10 cents on the I just assumed give it to you. <laughs> no, they probably wouldn't be no. too happy. Yeah, our legal fees will go up. <laughs> I mean, can we meet at 500 this year and possibly talk about 1,000 next year? That would be, That'll be my preference. But that's only opinion. one voice. 500 for the reserve fund? For the reserve fund proposed for 2024. Because right now it's at a thousand. Is everybody comfortable with that? I'm comfortable with 500. Okay. Okay. So, right. tree board expense, uh, we got the email uh, from Sue. Yep. Yes. So, this is. The 26 that she had proposed, but yeah. she was asking for 212. Her email oh. says, uh, it's attached. We plan to replace the tree on Main Street, blah, 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 blah. In addition, we need $187 to replace two hydrangeas signage uh, destroyed by mowers this past then, uh, summer. Asked to have Roberts reimbursed, but never have, never got a response. So the request is 2787. So my question when I read that, I wasn't entirely sure. Are, is any of that related to the trees that are on Main Street Village? No, it sounds like, the, well, the plan is to replace a tree on Main Street, plant and fence five trees on Arbor Day, lime, fertilize, replace, blah, blah, blah. That's the 2,600. In addition, the 187 is to replace the damaged hydrangeas, signage, and four posts. So, Duncan, were you asking? Were you asking to pay that for Main Street? Yeah. Yeah. Some of it is. They're going to replace that tree in front of the bank. We've been doing fishing streets. Look, everyone's here. Because there's not great in the block. So, my question would be why would the town pay that, not the village? The town is always. That's when the town started. What's that? People It's not, but the with the trees on the Main Street project are the responsibility of this village. And in fact, under the permit, they're supposed to be responsible for maintaining the trees. Back when we started nine years ago. You told me that the town would be paying for it. I don't think so. <laughs> it's in my notes. Yeah. Uh, has the, sorry, what? maybe I'm interjecting at the wrong time. Um, has the tree board asked the village trustees for possibly earmarked funds? Uh, the beautification committee is predominantly funded by the town, does mm -hmm. almost all their work in the village, but has uh, earmarked funds in the village's budget as well. I'm just wondering if you asked if you guys have asked a question. Uh, we asked them uh, if they gave us five hundred dollars. So you have five hundred dollars a year in the village's budget. No, no, they gave us a one one time. A one time. I think I'm trying to remember that was twenty eighteen or twenty seventeen. It was old, quite a while back. Um, uh, you're right, and I know a couple of times I remember my son saying one year we should be talking to them about splitting, putting the cost of the tree board. I don't know that anyone ever did. I never saw it in the minutes. I I wouldn't. What? Well, I'm just gonna. I thought that I recall if a tree was damaged, died, what have you, on Main Street. That the village was responsible for replacing. Yeah. I've never heard that. Because it was all 
part of that main street project. And I, I thought they were responsible for maintaining and, and replacing the what have you. Section. And I thought they even did replace some trees, like one in front of the bank that, that died or something. Well, they were really kind of like I got exactly the village insurance, but yeah, I'm very least we're only going to put it on the most. Yeah. Two more pages. Yeah. We'll probably be done. Yeah. Yeah. We have a copy of a letter that was signed at the time to the main street project, and the pretty show it said. Okay, so let's let's do some homework on this. Um, Sue, do you mind helping us do some homework? So we'll have Brian yep. connect with Eric. Good Eric. <laughs> Good Eric. <laughs> and, um, and ask Eric if he can find the documents from the village side of the Main Street Street project and a contracting that went along with that. And then if you can follow up on the town side based on what Eric finds, like maybe we have to do some digging too. So if there's anything you have out there, that would be lovely and helpful. And Duncan, if you have suggestions on where else to look, happy to hear it. Or if either of you have a time, like minutes to pull from a specific time period. Yeah. See, it was a village project. So, so we weren't was, really involved. It was a village project. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It should be in the documents. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know where we've got a couple folders for the Main Street project. So I've got an idea where to go. But ask Eric to do the work. Yeah. So are we going to keep that at 26 or bump it to 27 or ask the tree? Let's throw 2787 for the moment. I like the idea of 2287 and asking the village or having the tree board ask the village if they're willing to. Put forth five hundred dollars. That would get them the twenty seven eighty seven. That's fine. There is a little bit of headway before our next budget meeting. That's fine, but let's put twenty seven eighty seven, and we can follow up on it. It looks better when we could reduce it. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> the higher amount. Why do it accurate now when we could change it later? Um. <laughs> what if the village won't give it? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why we have headway. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I'm not asking this we'll pick it up. first. Or, you know, we'll pick it up at our next budget discussion. If if there's any way you could connect with them in the meantime, that would be lovely. That I think that's awesome. pretty reasonable to ask. $500. Well, they're especially given the fact that they're supposed to be responsible. Right. And the arboretum is in the village limits. A lot of work goes along in the village limits. Well, the arboretum is. Uh... Kind of I understand. Oh, it's in the, the tree board village. does an extraordinary amount of work, which is essentially done at the village. Yeah. yeah. The town doesn't own those trees. But yeah, we all agree we don't want to pay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, racial justice money. Yeah, racial justice is blank. Do we have an idea of what that will be? Well, level. Level. Level fund. So three three four zero. I think the part of the expenditure for the level fund for last year was grants. It's the anticipation uh, 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 well, they have their meeting minute cost. Yeah, the 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 chunk of it. Yeah, it's almost all of it. Um, I got you. Okay. And Perfect. any other committees? Was that dealt with last year? Any committees that get their meeting minutes paid for by the town? Is that taken out of the select board expenses and put into those respective committee expenses? It is all. Okay. So the thirty-three forty is basically an expense of a minute taker. I can double check uh, our invoices for that and make sure it's a good estimate. Yeah, I think they had a couple programs, but. Miscellaneous expenses, $200. Okay, I'm going to, let's go through the next section, then we'll. Um, put a, put a can I ask a question? Pin in it, sure. Um, I, I don't have in front of you what you have. And I noticed that the Conservation Commission skipped over. It's level funding, so maybe that's why, but I certainly don't want the conservation commission to be missed. You are not forgotten, and it's because nobody had a question on it. Oh, well, I had a question. 
Well, why didn't you ask it? Well, like the reserve yeah. fund. Yeah, we, we modified the, oh, I see. I gotcha. the reserve fund. Or yeah. Two different lines. Right. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. But I've got you as uh, 1500 for your regular expenses, and then now $500 for reserve fund. Lois, you're welcome to this if you'd like it. So, um, I guess I agree with you. If everybody's good with one more section, we could do it. But while we're in this Good thing section, you agree. Yeah, you weren't asking. <laughs> while we're in this section, I do think this is the time that we need to discuss, like we had before, allocating some public works hours towards the committees because they don't all go into roads. There's hours. Uh, there was literally hours spent just this week with public works for a beautification project. And I just looked at their timesheets and that's when it rolls. It's not really accurately showing to the voters where their money is actually being spent. Well, your time should be the of the voter, but I hear your point. I well, think, I think it's need, a timesheet issue. Uh, they would need allocations here in this section. Not necessarily. And then the timesheets would need to be filled out because if we didn't, you know, let me take the beautification committee just for instance, you know, uh, they're asking for an expense of $3,900. They went way over that with hours on the two projects they did this summer. You but there's already a line item under the, under the highway for non-highway projects. That doesn't really split it out by committee. It doesn't. And why? What difference does it make? It's all taxpayer money. Hey, would it at least accurately depict expenses? Would it not? They could spend uh, five hundred hours for rec, maybe. I don't know. I I think it, it, there is value in having their timesheet so that you can show in an eight-hour day what, what their crew is doing. If it was showed on the uh, their timesheet that they work so many hours for beautification. Uh, if they're over there helping the skate park, uh, they're out on the ball fields where they do do a lot of things. But separating separating out the charges, I mean, that was one of the reasons their name was changed to Public Works because this is now part of their job expectations. Right, but we should have accurate costs of committees. The thing is that I tend to like I understand what you're saying and I would like to see also time spent on specific committees that would be interesting to me but I think do we want to get into because you're talking about bill back right billing back oh, what you're talking, I mean if a, you're talking about budget that's what, being spent either way if you're talking about budget that's what you're talking about billing back Pretty much. and that is there's a lot of admin that goes into billing back is there value in that I don't, I don't know what there is. The value I can see is that we get timesheets electronically and can easily create pivot tables and whatever off accurate timesheet data, as opposed to doing buybacks within the budget. Because I, I think there is value in being able to show the voters, yeah, our uh, public works department is spending X amount of hours doing mowing the rail trail. I mean, there's a lot of things that they do that are not highway related, and it would be good to be able to show that. But as far as, like Beth's saying, all the administrative work to bill it well, out. Would the voters necessarily be happy if a thousand hours was spent at the Historic Society? And I'm just making this up, going out of my hat. If we just told them that there was 2,000 hours spent on committees, pretty palatable if there was an exorbitant amount spent on one, would that be doing a service to the taxpayers? But that's not going to, like, I get you, your point. The budget is visible to the tax, taxpayers. We can make other things visible to the taxpayers, too, so that we don't have additional costs. Because we, because you're talking about basically maybe, bringing on overhead here. Maybe it's just a sheet, another each in the town report. Yeah, like, I don't think it'd be that hard to change the timesheets. 
to show. And I was looking for it. I knew there was a line item in here. There's there's a line item on 404, which is non-highway projects. And my my suggestion would be, I think there might be value to it, but let's find out how much it actually is. Let's find out how many hours it actually is mm -hmm. in a year. It might we might think it's a lot of hours that they're spending. And it might not be all that many hours. If we if we did the timesheets, we could track it and it could be coded to that line item. So it, we we would at least know how much, you know, how much money was involved um, for it. And it would show a dollar amount. Uh, Jeff? Or if you made the same point five different times now about this, and there's a lot of people waiting to, to find their budget questions, and this seems more procedural and budget related about this request them of the board to consider handling this particular topic and moving on. Yep. Um, yeah, I think that in hindsight of where we are right at the moment, I was just looking through what we have remaining for budget items, and I think we need to do this differently next time to be more respectful of people's time. My apologies. I take ownership of that. Um, next time, we need to put revenue and expense together by the committees so that we can talk to each committee and let them go. Um, but we're not going to get through this budget tonight. This reality. How about we skip to the committees? That we're are not going to get through the committees. I mean, we're not even going to get through one committee. I can guarantee we're going to talk about the next section is admin and postage and the like. Um, probably won't have much to say there, but the next one is buildings, grounds, and, and um, so I'm saying, so buildings we and grounds. Skip to the committees. We probably need to table that buildings and grounds, unfortunately. Buildings and grounds is heavily historical society committee. All right. Is my point. Um, so maybe what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna do a really high summary really quickly. Apologies that I'm skimming through, but I'm gonna do it really quickly. On Uh, buildings and grounds. Are there anything? Uh, is there anything around Holcomb House that is urgent for discussion that anyone has without getting into too much detail? You mean in the audience? Anywhere, yeah. audience or here? We, we are working on proposal for living and stairs that we have some health issues for some of our members, and so we haven't completed the proposal yet. Okay. So we are Perfect. Thank you very much. I do know that the Historical Society has raised an issue before with the roof on the porch. Um, I don't know that we have any dollar amounts to. So line 234 is Holcomb House building maintenance. Let's just put a note on this. Do not neglect discussing roof. Anything else in buildings and grounds? Local house electricity budgeted should be reduced by 60%. Water sewer budgeted should be reduced by 60%. Heat and propane, I don't think we're going to be able to reduce it by 60%, which is what that she had called for. But we definitely need to reduce it uh, maybe 40%. Something along those lines. Maybe 30%. I don't know. This, the cost went up. The gallon inch was supposed to be down by 60%, so that should be still a savings. The usage will go down, but the cost will probably go up. Which isn't what was originally presented to us, but I'm saying there should be some sort of accountability, right? Or You're basically saying we need to look at these costs that were presented to make sure that they align with what we the expectation is. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip down through. I'm going to skip over public safety for a minute. But no, I'm not. I'm going to stop there for one second and just tell you 
that I spoke with Wilcott this weekend about the sheriff's contract, the patrol specifically. Um, Wilcott would like us to have a five-year increase, sorry, 5% increase for a single year, not for a three-year, for a single year, because they're worried about the reality of the increase over time. Uh, and Hyde Park's response is they're figuring out what they can afford. So I don't know what that means. They meet Wednesday. So I will know more from Hyde Park, but I think for the sake of our budgeting, we should budget for the 5% patrol. <clears throat> um, and dispatch, I don't know what to tell you because I asked again and got a response that wasn't helpful. You asked again about what? Uh, dispatch. But they don't have numbers well, until the... They don't have it before we have to print to go to anyway. So Brian, I think for dispatch, we should make an estimate on seven and a half percent. I'm just picking a number here, but is that what Rogers? I'd have to look at his he proposed three percent initially. They didn't send us the breakout by town for for no. A dispatch because so they don't, don't know they what it is January yeah so they should be able to we get pretty just close level fund it for the sake of this all right at least add five percent or add five sure add five percent yeah sure but anyway for for patrol let's add five percent and i'll let you know as soon as i know more from Hyde park um library make a note on that. So the library salaries, we thought that the town was doing 8.5%. So we library board always does what the town does. So it should be adjusted to be match up. Same just, formula. How did you hear that one? That's a good one. The town employees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good yeah. for application. Yeah. I think we that they were doing their budget relatively early. And so we just, yeah, we prepare it in October. Yeah, you're doing your due diligence. Thank you. Uh, so, so you can adjust. Yep. And you can connect with Stacy and, and give make her sure the proper that details. This is not. And you're, Stacy, you're the treasurer, right? Yeah. This is not a guarantee, uh, but there was discussion at a joint meeting about making the municipal employees raises based on the previous year's uh, New England CPI. So we already are budgeting based on what CPI was last month for next year. Uh, consumer price index. They price out you know, a state and you know, gas and all this stuff. And they say that inflation is X rating. But maybe you could talk with Brian. I can go over this with Stacey. Your next year's version a lot easier. Because if that's what the town and village do, actually do, you already know the budget for next year. So we'll connect on that. Yeah. Are there any other big items for library? I think you guys already presented a lot of this to us, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we had conversations about the, the building capital expense mm -hmm. from the repairs. Yeah. Did you want to say something, Stacey? No, just if anyone has questions. Unfortunately, are we just going to go through the whole library section? Are we jumping around now? Or are we just getting back? Are there any big so, questions for the library? Just if you scan through, is there anything that really stands so out? So the 8.5 is going to be 6 on line 1. Mm -hmm. I want you to buy a Nest thermostat. Are you guys going after a lot more known grants this year or grant fund purchases is I mean we all I mean Gene always writes a lot of grants. What's your question? Hang on one second. Too many sheets. I know I'm trying to get to the right. 
I don't know. Thank you. And no evidence. You're you're only projecting getting forty three hundred in grants. If I'm reading that right, but you're projecting spending forty three hundred on getting grants. Why do we do that? We only spend what we get. Oh, so that's the that's the money in, money out. It's listed as expenses, so it kind of read almost read like the administration cost of the grant. We think we can get forty three hundred. Sure. Understood. Thank you. Any other big questions for libraries? Um, I don't know. You're kind of putting me on the spot here. I know. Do it like it, it might be intentional. Mm -hmm. Well. I'm gonna come up with questions at the next meeting that we discuss these, and Beth is gonna say, "If you're trying to ask that, was one that we're here." Yep. So <laughs> I'm pre-warning you that we didn't really get to it line by line. Yeah. So I'll have another question. I'm sure. This is what I wonder if we can schedule an address time. Yeah. Because like, let's do let's do this. Let's. Everyone's going to have homework to go away and think of your questions, and you're going to email me questions for library, questions for so and so, and we'll just present the questions, and then we can do that right up front. Answer about student questions at, at the meeting, or we'll right have... up front at the, at the beginning of the meeting. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm still going to just skip through really quickly and say, sorry, Evan, I know you're this is driving you crazy, but I don't care. We have a room full of people. You can skip all you want. Here. Historical Society, are there any, so the Historical Society, we talked about the contribution in lieu of rent. We need to make sure that, make sure that aligns in the expense the same way that it is represented in, in revenue. That's an easy one. Huh? What line do you want? 321. Thank you, Stacey. Thanks. Thank you very much. So that's us paying ourselves. Well, it's, yeah. it's, so why do we do that? Very valid questions. You you it's have fine. issues it about is. backfilling with. Uh, I agree work. with you. This is literally backfilling for the historic society to make it look I better. I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. So did the select board agree to pay its use town funds to pay itself more to make the expense sheet look correct? That we were exactly. presented with in the summer. Literally, we were talking earlier about the expense sheet mm -hmm. that was presented to the select board before we removed tenants, or right after we removed tenants. Yeah. And it was saying that the historic society was okay with increasing its contribution. So we're just using town funds to cover that. So we might as well increase it to like 30 grand, I'm saying, because it doesn't make a difference. Okay, thanks for that. No, I'm serious. I understand your point. We should remove that line and we should remove the line on the other side. If it's all There's town money. There's a lot of money in the middle. Yeah, it's, yes. it's written as an expense on 321 and then it's written as revenue. And we do that with all our grants too. So the question becomes, what do we need to account for and what don't we? That's really the Grants are revenue in and revenue out. Funding and then lower rent is revenue out to get it back in, I guess. Flow of money. It's money. It's, it's the me. flow. Yeah, I hear you. And I just, I don't want to play devil's advocate right now, actually. I'm well, I think it's important to explain that in the historical society, <clears throat> there is a lot of fundraising that goes on that is not telling tax dollars per se, like all of Tuesday Night Live revenue and so it's not it's not totally supported by the town. But Tuesday Night Live revenue is into the town. It is, but it's not it's it's 
outside it's revenue. It's not town revenue. taxpayer money. It goes into the revenue right. side of the budget. So the actual the actual town contribution, if I remember correctly, the actual town contribution for the operational historical society is around three thousand bucks. All sum total. Well, that's. But your point is the expenses to the committee. I understand your point. Your point is the expenses to the committee, and therefore the committee has their budget, which we incorporate it into our overall operating budget. So if the committee has their expense budget, why wouldn't they expense for all their costs? Pretty much. That's your point. I get your point. But you were going over quickly. So those were items on Historic Society, I guess. If there's other big ones, you know. Now we're like already in the highway. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> it's, voila. It's 930, perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that there are other big questions. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming. We'll let you know if there's more questions. We'll do our homework. Thank you. Right. work in the meeting most of the time. I know. Right? I would say, uh, you know, if you back up 30,000 feet, look at the big picture. And the good rule of thumb is your budget's about what the uh, rate of inflation is. With the increase in the grand list, the impact of taxpayers is about, you know, even it ideally, yeah, ideally, it doesn't move. But that said, this year we've got inflation at six percent or whatever it is, so that match may not be, you know, an increase in the grand list may not make up what we're going to have an increased budget. If you have if inflation is six percent. Anything less than six percent, or if you try to level fund, you're actually making cuts in your survey. So you, in a way, you, in one way, you got to try to keep your budget about in a rate of inflation, and your services will be maintained. That's where Roger gets in a little trouble if he tries to keep his uh, increased budget to a certain level. Well, his only his Biggest expense is uh, personnel. Mm -hmm. So where does he make cuts? That, that's just a, a basic oh, rule of thumb is if you got a budget about the rate of inflation, normal years, with your increase in your grand list, the tax rate will stay the same for the taxpayers and they won't see any increase. Right. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. General generally speaking. Yep. Next item. I'm a little bit worried about our item, but yes. About what? Yeah, the taxpayers may see a difference if their if their um value of their property goes up the rate of inflation. If but not if you're to lose Right. That would be the goal. I like that goal. But okay. Next agenda item, we'll come back to the budget again next time. Can't wait. Um, open and review bids for the John Deere Greater. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to grab a drink. Yes, those dance. I think Mark needs another one. Mark does? Yeah. He's like a king over there. Uh, no. no, I need nourishment. <laughs> Ben, do you want this tape with you? You just want sure. it here. Play it right here on your computer. This is the only one we got? This is the only one we got. So do you read it out loud? Yeah. Okay. So the town of Bakersfield, Vermont, would like to submit a bid for the 2010 John Deere Greater Model 770G in the amount of $120,000. It is our only bid received, if you recall, the minimum purchase price uh, was $110,000. So I make a motion that we accept the uh, bid from Bakersfield. There's a motion <laughs> in a second. Do you want to call it? All those in favor? Oh, uh, aye. 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 All right. Aye. You're in favor? Aye. Unanimous. And when are they going to take possession of it? 
Not until we get a new trader. <laughs> uh, actually, no, they we left. Right we did not include that in the. Oh, we didn't. The the. I think we'll be okay. Got that. graders here. Yeah, it's in the country somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we should be good. The the. Close enough. Where? Yeah, the, the uh, request for bids that we put out uh, uh, no, not really. did we, not include a provision for us holding on to our less. grader. But I thought that's what we, we had talked about. Okay. We had talked about that, and then at one point we decided we weren't going to release it until our grader... Or we, we had said that we weren't going to do it that way. We were going to hold on to it till our grader was here. And then at some point when it looked like our grader was going to be here... We decided to pull the trigger. I think we're in okay shape. Yeah, I do check. I'll say. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you're good. I'm good. I've got everything I need right. to. I'll get a hold of Bakersfield and and close the purchase and sale with it. Perfect. The next item is a potential executive session. Somebody like to. Will we go into executive session to discuss communications with our attorney? And under whatever it is, uh, one BSA three thirteen. Is it B or A? A three. A three. No, you said A three. All right. No, I'm sorry. You're right. It is A one. A one. All right. Second that one. Motion on the floor, and there's a second. Any further discussion? I know Beth has just stepped out. She'll be right back in. So all in program. Brian will be. In the executive session. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. Nobody's opposed. Entering executive session at uh, 936. Okay.